welcome. I like that. Just welcome. <laughs> welcome. It's, ge it's January 1st. Yes, welcome. I am the Microblitz. And I am Ted's friends. And this is Squad Says Served. A cooking competition where you, the squads, control everything. You will get to vote on resources for your chefs, forced ingredients the other chefs must use, scoring categories, and sabotages to inflict on the opposing chef. We're going to talk about the rules for Squad Says Served in just one second because we need to pause the, uh, the thing here because we have a TV for our judges to look at. We're going to introduce them later. And the <laughs> Volume is turned up, which means we've got to turn that volume weird. down, or you're going to hear this really weird echo coming out. And we don't want to. probably that. already hear that right They're now. They're probably already here right <laughs> it's now. It's amazing. It's <laughs> like, it's going so well. My God. Oh, wait. We've got an exactly. echo coming from over there. New year, new us. Yeah, no. Well, same. Oh, new year, same old, same old us. No, this is, this is new us. They can't, you guys at home can't see this, but there's a ton of new stuff here. Well, I wasn't here for this. Was this here when you when you hosted that? Well, these were these were on the bottom before, so it was doing spooky lighting on me before, oh, and so I just looked like a ghoul the entire time. <laughs> like it was spooky lighting. No, 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 absolutely. All right, let's go uh, back to the rules right. here, Mike. Right. <clears throat> God. Let's talk about the rules for Squad Says Served. Our chefs will have 20 minutes each round to deliver a dish to the judges that include the feature ingredient for that round. There will be five rounds, so five dishes cooked by each squad's chef. Squads will alternate voting rounds throughout the show. Check the border around the voting options. When it's your squad's color, it's your turn to vote. Vote by clicking right on the screen to select your preferred option. Now, you'll have to uh, join a squad first. Now, log into Twitch. Click the bottom in the middle of the screen to get started. Since we have new squads with new names, all squad memberships have been reset. So if you haven't played, if you've played with us before, you now get to choose between your new squads, the Pirate Squad and the Ninja Squad. Each vote uh, awards one or more resources to your team's chef. Now, resources uh, include heat sources, cookware, bowls, utensils, and, of course, ingredients. Uh, your chef can uh, choose not to use these ingredients, or they don't, or they can't, uh, in any of their dishes. Now, during each dish, each squad will also vote for one forced ingredient and one sabotage and one scoring category. The forced ingredient must be used in, uh, by the other team's chef in the next dish that they serve. The sabotage will slow down the other squad's chef and sometimes benefit your chef as well. Finally, for each dish, each team will vote on an additional scoring category that will apply for both teams for the next dish to be served. In addition to the scoring categories voted by each squad, every dish will also be judged on taste. Each of the two judges will rate each dish in three scoring categories on a scale from 1 to 10. So, 30 points per, judge, uh, per dish per judge, 300 points across all all uh, b across <laughs> both judges for all five dishes. Some of the scatting, uh, scatting categories, <laughs> hell yeah. Scatting Some of the scoring categories <laughs> are a bit vague. They're up to the interpretations of the judges. All right, as a reminder, you have to pee, be on a PC or Mac to vote. The technology doesn't work yet on phones or tablets. If you forget results of the previous votes, check the voting history panel in your browser located below the video player. Okay, I'm off to make some final preparations right. uh, for the ingredients. Go right ahead, Mike. We'll, we'll see you later. Ninja Squad, go ahead and start voting while we meet today's chefs. We're going to come over right over here and talk to the Ninja Squad. This is Chef Zach. Chef Zach, talking to that camera right over there. Tell the folks at home who you are, what you do, where you're from. Hey guys, it's Chef Zach Marvelous here. I'm from Seattle. I've been working in catering for 30 plus years. I've worked in a handful of restaurants. I've done stages for fun. I've worked in everything from 300 person weddings to two person family style dinners where everything has to be super special. Did a wedding back in September, had a blast doing it, kind of fell in love with catering again, and now looking at starting my own uh, food truck next year. Awesome. All right. We're going to come right over here to the uh, Pirate Squad. Welcome back, Chef David. Hey, thanks. Chef David. Chef David, longtime fan, longtime friend of the show. Yeah. You're back. Everything's different as, as usual. Let's go ahead and talk maybe for the folks that are new in our new time slot. Tell, them, tell the folks at home who you are, what you do, where you're from. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Uh, David Boyd here, a personal chef in the Seattle area with Down to Earth Cuisine. Boop. Uh, <laughs> we do weekly meal services. We come in and provide a week's worth of meals at a time private dinners and cooking classes as well, www.downearthcuisine.com. Um, 20 years of you know restaurant experience. I moved here from Atlanta about five years ago. Uh, love the area, the people, the surrounding you know mountains, and yeah, happy-go-lucky. Everything is happy. Everything is awesome. That's great. <laughs> All right, now, chefs, you guys already have a paring knife, a different heat source. Uh, Pirate Squad, you have the Super Pot. Ninja Squad, you have the Panini Press. Go ahead and plug those suckers in Ooh, if you haven't already. Put 20 minutes on the clock for dun, our first dun, featured dun. ingredient, steelhead trout. Ooh. Chefs, are you ready? Fancy. Ready. 
All right, squad says cook. Looks like we got a Ted coming in already with the first voting option. We do, in fact, green squad here. Wow, this thing just tips over almost instantly, doesn't that? Yeah, whoa. Look at that. So green squad has voted for the vermicelli noodles. There we go. Right, We've got sweet. some uh, roasted salsa verde, and you've got a little bit of avocado oil as well. Ooh, baby, I got all the stuff I need. <laughs> sort of? For the smokehead trout? I, yeah. All right, perfect. I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, sounds great. All right, so you got very excited. What, all right, so as you can see, uh, both chefs, you guys have the steelhead trout as the first ingredient and the final ingredient for today. Uh, those, are, uh, those are pork ribs. Pork ribs. I'm looking forward to doing those. Probably going to try to do those really slow. This guy, I got to do nice and quick, though. Yeah, I'm tell, uh, I, I personally have not uh, not had trout. I don't think I've had trout. Maybe like once or twice. Mostly eat salmon or whitefish. Okay, so trout, you're going to have a little bit more depth of flavor, kind of like you do with the salmon, but you're not going to have the light kind of sweet texture that you'd get with whitefish. Okay. So you're going to want to cook it nice and fast. You want to try to get that skin really, really crisp, which is going to be super helpful. Thanks for the avocado oil, gang. Really need that. Uh, the only thing that I need now is a way to cook these noodles because I need to do some hot water action, maybe. This is hard for hot water. Let's see what That's we can true. do. That's true. The nice thing, though, is about this water is you both, Chef, you do get unlimited use of that water right there. So. Oh, All right. sweet. Yeah. All right. Looks like Ted's coming back with some stuff for Pirate Squad. BB. All right. Pirate Squad has voted you some tarragon leaves, <laughs> some soy sauce. Okay. Might go well with the fish and some couscous. 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 We're going to bring that one back. <laughs> Come on. Right, Mike? That is, that is pre, pre, pre-season. We need to bring that back. Right, we're going to stick good. with it. Bye. See you in a <laughs> couple a minutes day. here. Okay. All right. Uh, so Chef David, you've already started making looks like some fillets here with yeah. the steelhead trout. I just had to do something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before I was just standing there. Sure. So, All right. I was like, okay, I have a knife, a tiny knife, so I'll cut something. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a knife later on. Yay. Today, enjoying these fine dishes cooked by these two wonderful chefs, we have our judges. Let's go ahead and let's introduce them. Starting over here on my left, we have Judge Alyssa. Judge Alyssa, go ahead and tell the folks at home uh, who you are, where you're from, where they can find you on, on the Internet. Yes, uh, I'm Alyssa Yellman. I live here in Seattle, Washington. Um, I'm a stand-up comedian. You can find me on the Internet anywhere. Um, <laughs> not anywhere. I don't want to say anywhere. <laughs> Most places, if you see me any place that you think I shouldn't be, please let me know. Um, my handle is at Alyssa Yo, A-L-Y-S-S-A-Y-E-O. Yo. Hey, uh, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm Jesse Warren. Um, I am a former software engineer. I used to work down at the Bay. I moved back to Seattle to live with my parents. And, uh, <laughs> and now choice. I just do comedy like uh, Alyssa does. And we have a podcast together, so check that yeah. out if you, if you want to check that out. It's what's the name of the podcast? You Suck, Don't Leave. It's you about Suck, Don't Leave. <laughs> you guys seem like you had some great chemistry. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's, what's the podcast about? Uh, relationships and dating. Yeah. Right. yeah, mostly our wrecked relationships yeah. and my personal wrecked relationships. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> yeah. Great. That's all right. Well, thank you guys so much. We're going to come back to you guys in a little bit after we get some more ingredients out of here. I'm going to turn it over here uh, to Ninja Squad and Chef Zach. Chef Zach, looks like you're, uh, what are you doing? De We're going to descaling this guy just to make sure that I can actually cut through this. Yeah, this is a mess over here already. Well, of course, it's me. <laughs> Anybody that's ever cooked with me knows that I make a complete disaster whenever I'm cooking. I clean up afterwards most of the time. That's good to hear. Uh, it sounds like we got Ted coming back with some more stuff for you, so let's get Ted on over here. Sweet. All right. <laughs> so, would you have said that your the main thing you were looking for was turmeric? Uh, no, but I will take it because right. turmeric is amazing. Uh, what about polenta? I heard you saying you love polenta. I actually do. Ah. I used this for a stage cook-off that I had to do a couple of months ago. I didn't get the job, though, so let's find out how this one goes. And Green Squad has voted for Purple Squad. Their first ingredient is sliced banana peppers. I'm down with that. So we'll be back sure. in a couple minutes with a fourth ingredient for the Green Squad as well. All right, sliced uh, banana peppers. All right, how are you going to uh, incorporate this? Give this a whiff. Smells toasty. Yeah, yeah, those are nice and toasty. Wow, toasty. That's, are you sure that's not too hot? I see some smoke coming. Oh, there you go. Look oh, at that. Smoke. As soon as I bring up a problem, Chef David is there fixing it right, right over there. That's what he does. All right, how are you going to get banana peppers forced in this dish? Judge's reminder, banana peppers have to be present in the Pirate Squad's dish. You've got to see banana peppers in incorporating that. What's so your plan? So banana peppers and soy sauce go really well together. Okay, so it's sort of helpful there. All right, I yeah. don't think Green Squad maybe didn't know that. And when they voted, right, I'm just so. making that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, well, you had me convinced. Okay. You had me convinced. Um, Say it with confidence. Is believing. Yeah, that's. <laughs> well, and so now I'm going to use the uh, banana peppers as a little pickled uh, 
acidic quality right at the end. All right. I think it'll actually honestly work. Great. Well, you guys both have about 15 minutes left. Um, All right. Yeah, so, so I, I'm, just, I'm still watching this, this, this knife work here because I see there's two very different styles of fish preparation happening uh, right over here. You're cutting some really thin fillets. You're still working on the descaling. You sliced it. Uh, sliced it to go a little bit smaller. I'm going to go with uh, medallions for the serving because just doing one solid whole piece is just going to be way too big and probably way too much for one person because we got five courses and, you know, we got to wet the appetite but not right. necessarily fill yeah. it up yeah uh so what do you need right now because right now let's say you don't really have much other than your one heat source he's got the super pot which he's already starting to make the couscous with you've got these noodles this polenta this this if i had there. a way to cook some noodles if i had a way to cook some polenta that would be amazing if i don't i'll have to figure it out but i'm sure that somebody out there might actually be nice to me and give me something cool to work with. Somebody, <laughs> somebody. Well, I don't know who though. It's nice to find out. We're about to find out because you're also about to get a forced ingredient. Ooh, baby, here we here go. Here comes Ted. Choo choo, troll Ted. Choo choo. I'm gonna buy the conductor's hat and yes. I'm going to get a train whistle so at Ted, some now point you here. So essentially, you just walk around the whole show and you just grab stuff. Yeah. No, that's that's <laughs> my that's my new job. <laughs> that's what I've been <laughs> reduced to. Is what's happened here. Now, uh, Purple Squad has given you an onion. Ooh. You get these. Beans I can't pronounce. Cannellini. Cannellini beans. Cannellini. <laughs> and uh, Green Squad, uh, they've given you a force ingredient of orange soda. Oh my God. Uh, maybe a All right, nice, let's do it. a nice glaze on orange that uh, <laughs> trout. But enjoy that. I'll, I'll see you in a couple minutes. See you in a couple minutes. Orange soda and fish. Now. And banana bears. <laughs> I'm going to turn it over to the judges right now because I would love to hear the judges' thoughts on these two forced ingredients. Uh, judges, banana peppers from the Pirate Squad, orange soda, both of those with steelhead trout. Talk to me. What is what is on your mind with these two with these two forced I, ingredients? I feel like banana peppers can probably work. You know, yeah, like yeah, I'm a big one. banana pepper guy. Yeah. I usually have it on my Jersey Mike sub from time to time. <laughs> yeah, Good right. Um, the sun kiss though sounds. Awful. <laughs> it's also like the oh, weird... it's gonna be a good time. Okay. <laughs> it's also like a weird brand of orange soda, right? It's not my typical orange soda brand. What is it? Wait, what is it's it? It's Sunkiss. Sun, people know Sunkiss. What's your Fanta? Fanta. Fanta. Oh, you're a Fanta uh, guy. Yeah. Right. That would change yeah. it. That would change. That would change. Wait. It. Okay. Hang on. Wait. The Fanta <laughs> would change your opinion of... completely. Have you had Sunkiss? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe. <that's laughs> Do we have like to try it? I got this yeah. extra for you. Never okay. Oh, heard of this. interesting. Right. Let's let's turn this back. Turn the camera back over here. You just poured the Sunkiss. All right, hang on. You're mixing the Sunkiss, the salsa verde, and the turmeric. That's correct. What? Talk to me. All right. So <laughs> I see you over there. <laughs> talk right. me out of this. So I'm going into. Yeah, talk me out of my bad ideas. So I'm actually going to. I'm hoping that some of the sugar and maybe a little bit okay. of the syrup is kind of going to glaze down if I can reduce some of it. I do have a little bit of a lip in here, Whoa, so I yeah. might be able to get some of it to reduce. We're going to have to use this as a skillet for a little while. I need skillets, guys. And also, this is awful. <laughs> All of my friends watching, you've seen my knife kit. You still this have not 12 it. minutes. How long does this trout take to cook? Uh, is not it's... too long, actually. I mean, is it going to stay warm? Oh, it's going to stay warm. Don't All, right. Worry. All right, all right. I'm just, I'm curious because I know fish, whenever we have fish on the show, people wait and start cooking like the last two or three minutes. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I didn't do that. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Great. Uh, it looks like Ted's coming back with some more stuff here. Whoop, oh, pardon me. All right. More for the green team and a sabotage for the purple yeah, team. So uh, for the green team, you get a little saucepan, you get some allspice. Oh, heck yes. Just and uh, purple wanted. squad, you got Alanis for five Ooh. minutes. What is Alanis? Alanis means you keep one hand on that faucet. So I can do one that. Hand. For five minutes. There we go. <laughs> I, I said it cool on the inside. I'm like, shit. Uh, the, best part, the best part was hearing. I, I heard right now, uh, the judges, uh, they're giggling over there. Because I heard, and I heard Alyssa get the joke. I heard her be like, wait, what? And then the giggle. Uh, Alyssa, tell me what you think about the sabotage. I heard you giggling over there. I uh, love that sabotage. Shout out to Alanis. She meant a lot to us all. She, she's still around. It's yes, not, she is. <laughs> 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 the way you said it, you're like, she meant a lot to us all. She's still around. We actually named this Alanis because we had, uh, we had Anjali Benmani, the voice of Symmetra from Overwatch, on the show. And she had her hand on the faucet and then just belted out. She had one hand on the faucet and the other hand was cooking up beef sides. And so we all lost and it became a meme within our chat. So that's why we've renamed the sabotage to Alanis. Uh, Chef David, how is this going to affect you at all? Uh, I only have one hand. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, that couscous looks nice and done, though, already. <laughs> I hate you so much. I was excited. Was you? I was excited that you were back. Yes, it was me. It was, I was okay. excited that you were back, but now you're making fun of me. <laughs>
This is what we're reduced to. This is this is what happened. This is the show. Welcome, happy. It's supposed to be New Year, New Year, New Us. That babe. made me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, Ted's coming back here. Looks Love like we've you. got a sabotage for the Ninja Squad. Ooh, there, baby. This is a very sparse, <laughs> sparse <laughs> selection what here. Happened? Let's have an onion rolling around on here. Uh, so you get a, a red onion from the uh, Pirate Squad there, and the Green Squad right sabotage onion? is nuke it. Oh, okay. no. So, okay. Uh, so that means they're going to take uh, your dishes okay. and put them in the microwave for 30 seconds. Whoa. Okay. I believe it's the Hang on. Uh, I believe it's like a double check. I, I, I've got my notes here. Yeah, it is 30 seconds. Must be a single ingredient. Uh, David, which wow. of uh, which one of Chef Zach's ingredients would you like to place in the microwave for 30 seconds? Uh, the fish. Oh, he's going to microwave the fish. You're going to be that guy at the office that puts fish in the microwave for 30 seconds. There's a uh, restaurant that uses microwaves to cook everything. Guess there. what? One of them is for just fish. <laughs> what? Wow. Yep. Gross. You know, All right. Chef Mike. <laughs> Oh, you judges, I'm so sorry. Uh, let's talk to the judges for a second Thank here. You. Judges, sorry, <laughs> judges, you are now seeing what's happening right now. First of all, welcome to the show, because you guys have never seen the show, so now you're, yeah. I, I can see you guys eyeing the door over there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk to me about this right now. So, Chef David, one hand on the faucet. Uh, yeah. Chef Zach, Ooh, 30 that. seconds uh, for f on fish. Talk to me about your thoughts about this right now. Yeah, well, I think that, you know, Chef David, that sabotage may be a blessing in disguise because with one hand, you, you have less uh, decision-making <laughs> conflict, right? So you can really focus, you can really focus on, what, on that one hand and what it's doing. Can I use this to spray the other guys? <laughs> Um, no, come I on. Can, no. No. The new thing doesn't sound that bad. I, don't, I thought that was. I thought that one was way worse. Really? I that one was. Okay. Yeah. The new thing is good because uh, yeah. it wasn't complete. Right. I don't know anything about cooking. But that's yeah. see, that's on, that's on power ten. You could have put that on like a power sure five. Yeah. Well, the hard part is also. I mean, Fine. the fish is already close to done, and you're gonna throw it in there for another thirty seconds. That can that can do a lot of damage Great. to a fish, especially when you're nuking a fish. That can make the inside. It, it's gonna either dry it out or make it super soggy. You know, it's, Let's it's find out which. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two ways this can go in their phone. I don't have it on. They will let me know when your time's done. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> they usually are good. Uh, Ted will let us know for sure. Uh, chefs, you guys both have just under eight minutes left. Uh, you don't know. Ted's coming back, speaking of which. All right. I'm back here. Now, uh, I have no idea how much time you have left on that. Good luck. Uh, so there. Green Squad has voted you some popcorn salt. The saltiest of salts, Ooh, yeah. and the scoring category of sexy. Sexy, nice. all right. Sexy. <laughs> you can hang on to that. I'll one. hang on to that. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, right. This is my name tag That's now. Super. Ooh, boy. Oh, yeah, popcorn salt is no, 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 no. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> you can wash it down. There you go. All right, oh, sexy. Better. All right. All right. So, uh, judges and chefs, as you heard, the first ca uh, scoring category, or as Ted likes to call it, categories, are, uh, <laughs> is sexy. So sexy, you know, the score yeah, it one is. to ten. It's sexy. Wait, the food or? I don't know. It's up to the judges. Yeah. How are you gonna? How are you gonna make this? How you gonna make this? Up my apron. How you gonna, <laughs> how you gonna, Chef David, how are you gonna make a sex? How are you gonna make the sexy fish? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm gonna try to plate it in a very beautiful and delicate manner. <laughs> there you go. A delicate, and sexy like, manner. I love that if I uh, get close enough to this ta this uh, table, my apron like pops up on the top. <laughs> it's so short. And uh, in my downtime, I work at the Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what the little pockets were for? It was I for pens? So. You are yeah. now free. And packets uh, of mayo. You go ahead and let go of that. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you got going on over here? I'm trying to boil water. It's not That's, going great. It's not going great. <laughs> this, <laughs> well, how are you going to make this? How are you going to make this fish sexy? I have absolutely no idea. Great. We'll you get there when we get there. You <laughs> have about uh, six minutes left to figure right. that out. That's, that's the well, plan we'll see right what now. What happens then? And we're gonna we'll get this, and then we'll get another scoring category, and we'll talk to the judges. In the meantime, oh, there you go. You guys are both. You you looked at the ribs. Yep. Are you starting and, on and, yours? And David, David is starting on yours. David, why are you starting your ribs no now? No peeking. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get out of the way. Uh, how long are these ribs going to take to cook? Uh, well, I'm going to chop these suckers up, so hopefully less time than they would normally take. All right. That sounds like a plan. Question mark. Yeah. I guess why you guys are waiting for your fish. Is your fish done? You're just waiting on My the... fish is almost done. I'm actually just going <laughs> to sear it off in the microwave. It's resting. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> well, we're about to get into the scoring category uh, from Ted in just a minute here, and we will see what comes next. Uh, and hopefully <laughs> it's not sexy. <laughs> no, it's not already, we already got sexy. It'll be sexy plus. <laughs> sexy plus. That's, yeah. Twice that's the as plan. sexy as before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here comes, here comes Ted. Hi, Ted. All right, I'm back. So, 
Uh, Purple Squad here is getting some fennel seeds, so if yeah, you want yeah. your fish to taste like Italian sausage, got that. <laughs> uh, you've got uh, a media oh. mixing bowl and the scoring category in my new name tag of <laughs> at the ballpark. At right. the Ooh, ballpark. There we go. We'll just pop that. I don't have anything to secure mine to, but we'll find it. All right, we'll, we'll see you soon, Mike. <laughs> All right, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. At Bye. the ballpark. All right, does that change Wait, the way? Sexy and at the ballpark. Sexy and at the ballpark. Does that change the way you're gonna? Uh, it's kind of blowing my mind right it's now. It's kind of blowing your mind. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's talk to the judges. Let's go over to the judges, and we'll ask the judges what they think the sexy steelhead trout at the ballpark means to them. Uh, judges, hi. Hi. Talk hey. to me about these scoring categories. Is sexy at the ballpark. What does, what does that say to you? Well, Alyssa's got a keen eye for, yeah. for sexiness. I have a keen <laughs> eye for sexiness. I think it means I want to see this fish and nothing but it, like a baseball. Part, I like, like that. that. Well, I think as far as, because I don't typically associate uh, fishes as, as a sexy food, but a lot of, a lot of a lot shellfish are aphrodisiacal. They <laughs> so. contain a lot of zinc. And they can't kind of I do think fish is sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of if you use a lot of autumn colors like deep reds, they <laughs> tend to bring out <laughs> right. kind of emotion. Yeah, color this fish up, make them sexy, put some fucking color the lingerie on it. <laughs> but, all right, so we're hearing we're hearing you guys not only have to cook this fish, but you got to like craft a baseball hat, some sexy lingerie. Give me a damn baseball hat. I don't <laughs> I'm the only one that brought a baseball hat. And I'm not quite. Can I borrow it? Yet. <laughs> <laughs> what about judge what about at the ballpark? What does that mean to you? Oh. Yeah, so that that's like a, a broad Hot thing because I was I was at the Safeco field recently and they had a Dintai fun there, so they served dim sum. So that's really Ooh. become a broad wow, category right. in recent years. It's not just hot dogs and hamburgers anymore. Sounds boring. This is boring. <laughs> you know what? boring. Okay, ballpark. Great. What do you do other than drink and eat? Oh, it's something so it's a food right. that you can eat while uh, maintaining uh, contact contact with the baseball cool. players and conversation with your kin while being sexy. <laughs> while, yeah, being while, sexy. Being sexy. <laughs> while being sexy. All right, great. Uh, so this is, the voting is done for this first dish. Uh, oh, I know it's not. No, this is done. It's done. We got we got more stuff coming out. <laughs> I'm though. waiting. I'm Over waiting. here waiting. Ted's, Ted's waiting. It's me, everybody. Trolley Ted, back again. Uh, you got some rosemary. <laughs> Green Squad gave you rosemary Ooh, there. Yeah, I think I know who that one's from. They Thank gave you, you some uh, miso, some miso uh, Oh, it's definitely mix, from you. Okay. And some sweet relish. Oh. Ooh. That's from everybody, and I want them to know that we are real, and I'm doing the signal now, so you know I'm real. Did somebody think what this is not live? Yeah. What? <laughs> there we go. Just so they knew. Why was it here? Yeah, was here. I'll do it, too. You know what? We're going to the judges to do this, too. Hang on. Let's go over to the judges. All right. There you go. See, there you go. We are, <laughs> Welcome to Squad says, you control, oh, they controlled me. I said on Twitter they weren't going to be able to control me. I, oh, I broke my promise. Ted, you made me break my promise. <laughs> How Rip. could you? <laughs> All right, you've got uh, that vermicelli in the pot there, <laughs> <laughs> Chef Zach. Talk to me. What's, you guys, you have two minutes. You still need to plate. And they're going to walk this dish over to the, uh, the chefs. Talk to me. What's your plan in the next two minutes here? Well, the plan is to finish off the fish on the greatest cooking implement of all time. <laughs> the panini press. And then possibly try to get these noodles out of here without overcooking them. Ooh, all right. It's going to be real interesting with a spoon. If I had something a little bit bigger, that would help a lot, guys. Talk to me about what vermicelli is. My experience with the vermicelli is very tiny and rice -aroni. Um, It's actually a, it's a gluten-free. Okay. It's really thin. It cooks very quickly in hot water. It's used in a lot of Asian dishes. If you're in kind of a, the South Asian in the islands, you're going to see it a lot in dishes. You'll see it a bunch in street food. You can see it fried. You can see it cooked in steamed water. You also can get it in chicken stock, and it imbues a lot of that chicken stock flavor. Okay, great. you got a minute and a half, and I want to keep interrupting you. But also, you got very excited when it was the, uh, the soy sauce mm -hmm. and this packet, and you were said, I know who this is the from. Miso. Who, who's, who's, uh, the miso. Who's the miso? Who's this from? So it's actually one of my associates that I've worked with at conventions, and I've babysat her cats a few times. Speaking of cat, nice to see you. Uh, her favorite seasoning is rosemary. And uh, one of the things, remember I mentioned that stage that I used the couscous for oh, that yeah, polenta yeah, yeah. for? Yep. The other thing I did was a maple and miso glazed salmon for that stage. Wow, that actually sounds really delicious. It was pretty bomb. Again, I didn't get the job. So. Uh, all it's right, yeah, you guys have one place left. Uh, <laughs> which, what size? Small, round. Yeah, thank you. You guys you have care. one minute. What's going to happen there is when this time counts down, it'll be hands up. And you guys will walk this over to the, uh, to the judges. You guys are going to present them to the judges yourself. So excited. Okay. 30 seconds left. You guys left. Still have no germs? Because I don't got a fork or nothing. All right, cool. We doing this then? <laughs> it's it's fine. All right, what is this? What did you just do? I don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some of the stuff out of the way here. Oh, thank you. 
Just uh, it's for the camera, not for you. Yeah. Oh. All right, here we go, guys. You got 10 seconds left. Roughly 10 seconds. Hands need to be down, and your uh, whatever meats are on there are going to be stopped. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up right there. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and walk those dishes over. Only take uh, two and present one to each, uh, each judge there. All right. Which one do you want soup? Hey guys, uh, so we have some soy marinated grilled um, salmon. Okay. Uh, uh, with couscous. Come stand, come stand right over here. Oh hey, there what you up? <laughs> How you doing? Hey. <laughs> um, some banana peppers in there for a little acidic kind of tang. Uh, we also toasted the couscous to give it a little more like nuttiness, depth of flavor in there, and hopefully the salmon is a nice kind of medium, medium rare. Okay. Enjoy. I'm nervous. <laughs> hey, that smells mm. good. Mm. Yeah, Zach, you gotta you, you present your dish to them. Uh, am it's, I going to? I was waiting yeah. them for it. I was waiting. Oh, to get yeah, back. No, no, no. You, you do the no. Okay. You do the presentation. You go and present oh. it right now. All right, so we're gonna go right now. So <laughs> I've got for you a seared sockeye salmon. It's topped with a. Orange glaze, also mixed with a little bit of that orange pico. Glaze. Yeah, it's, it's a orange green pico. Glaze. Hey, it's glazed now. Yeah, it's got yeah, yeah. So, we got a little bit of orange in there, got a little bit of the salsa in there, got a little bit of the turmeric in there. Serve with some vermicelli noodles. Here's a little bit more soupy. So, the kind of goal oh, here is to get that flakiness right. out of the salmon, okay. but also get that a little stock. flavor out of the rice. Uh, cool. rice noodles as well. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Awesome. All right, while the judges are uh, tasting that first dish, we will start and get ready for the second dish uh, coming up here. Do uh, we have the protein for that yet? We do, it's, it's out. Look at that, when you weren't even looking, the protein showed up. The beans? Yeah. Beans, beans, good for your heart. Yeah. <laughs> you, see, yeah you looked at them and you were like, oh, the beans? What you but saying? I'm thinking of meat, because that's what, what we usually use. Usually, this is usually. This is new year, new you. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what's going to happen this time around. Okay. Pirate Squad's going to get the first vote. <clears throat> so you guys will get going. We're about to start that timer. And it's going to be 20 minutes on the clock for black beans. Cool. Right. Love it. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Squad says cook black beans 20 minutes. Here go. we go. Here we go. We do. What are you doing already? I don't even know. <laughs> what, so, is, what is this? This is what I cooked the salmon in, and oh, so okay. I deglazed the uh, pan and made it's a little a kind of faux. It's actually a hybrid uh, salmon trout. Okay. And it is uh, one of the few fish that you can eat raw. So. Really? Yes. All right. Well, that's good. That's good to know. It is good to know. All right, beans it is. Bean, what are your plans for beans? You've got one pot. I have one pot. And a panini press. It's currently full of rice stuff, though, so that's not going to work. All right, that's great. Seems fine. What are, do you have any thoughts or currently? Are you going to use any of the, any of the ingredients you currently have out here? With, with oh, definitely, that? definitely. What's your plan? Talk to me. The current plan is to get this burner going, and it is not happening. So we'll deal with that later. That's so the, the current plan is to get a little bit of salt in here, going to get some depth here. I'm looking at the polenta thinking maybe I can kind of mix these together. If I smash them really good with the spoon, maybe make sort of a black bean polenta cake. Ooh, all right, yeah. So we'll get some kind of a sauce to go over that, and we'll go from there. Okay, great. Uh, Chef David, talk all to me. Right. You, still got, you, you still got half your dish out. Oh, from... it's going in the next course. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you gonna, all right, talk We're to me. We're using you... every part of the <laughs> animal here. There you go. What is your plan for this next one, then? My New Year's resolution is there. to waste nothing. <laughs> great. Uh, <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> So, how are you going to use this uh, banana pepper couscous and onion and, uh, and <clears throat> steelhead trout? You know, I think my um, amazing opponent over there just spilled his beans too early, so I'm going to make a uh, bean cake. A bean <laughs> cake as well. Black bean cake. <laughs> well, that sounds good. I hope the judges are ready. That's, that's not all I'm doing. I hope the judges are ready. The rest, I'm, I'm keeping. I'm you, you, all right, yeah. you're going you're gonna to hold that secret. Great. You got secrets? I got He's secrets. got secrets. Right. I'll never keep them from you. He's got <laughs> secrets. <All right. clears throat> I'll tell you later. All right, Ted's about to come out here with some new stuff. Uh, in, in just a couple of minutes after Ted comes out here, we're gonna go. We're gonna talk to the judges and get their thoughts and uh, their impressions of this first dish from both squads uh, in just a couple minutes here. So, judges, be ready.
I'm gonna come at you in a little bit right now. They're still, they're chowing down. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. My hands are super wet. Can you open this? Yeah, thanks. All right. <laughs> so uh, you got some breadcrumbs. I love you guys. For oh, those, yeah. Bottom of my heart, love you. And French onion soup mix. Hell yeah. Ooh. Oh. Now the fourth ingredient for the Green Squad, unfortunately, is raspberry preserves with those <laughs> delicious beans. <laughs> Raspberry Thanks, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be back one, no, for one for you as well. Oh. All right, here we go. Nervous. Raspberry preserves. We're going to talk about it in just a second. All right, I'm going to go walk, I'm gonna walk my butt over to the judges, and we're going to talk to these judges about this first dish. I'm going to saunter slowly over here. That's what I do. I saunter. <sighs> Welcome. They don't, you know what? You guys haven't even gotten scoring done, so I'm gonna walk I back over here. Yeah, 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 yeah we got it. They, well, they've got their scoring done, but we don't have. They don't have it back there. Uh, uh, is the thing. Okay. So you know, there we go. Here comes Kevin. <laughs> He's gonna get it. And I'm gonna just kind of hang out here for a little bit while we wait. Uh, raspberry, raspberry preserves. I don't, you know, if I can make orange soda work with salmon, I think I can maybe make raspberry jam work with black beans. All right, all right. We'll see. I grew up broke, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother's from Tennessee. Too. I'll make weird stuff work. It happens. It's, it's, the, it's the dorm. It's, uh, so what do I got? Oof. What do I got in my pantry for the dorm? Oh, you at least got a dorm. I lived in my car in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Ask anybody at Evergreen. No. Hey, where's that orange car with the sleepy dude? No, it's this guy. <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, it looks like scoring went back there. So now... Not, I'm staying here still. Still staying. Hang out with me. Man. I'm gonna hang out. It's I'm cool. Hang, I'm gonna talk uh, talk to Chef David here. What Chef up? David's got his his beef ribs in there already. Pork ribs. Sorry, pork ribs. That's what I said. Oh. Uh, <laughs> trying to get this started. Uh, talk to me about your plan here. Is with your how are you gonna make your cake? You got breadcrumbs. You uh -huh. got some French onion soup mix that I almost spilled everywhere. All good things. <laughs> that's <laughs> what. Is, what is your plan here? Uh, I'm gonna make a black bean cake and. Hope I can scoop it out with my um, my little grill grates here that are it's going to be difficult to that, scoop out with. That's going to be hard, yeah. It's going to fall apart, but you know I'm going to cross my fingers and my toes. All right. Well, hopefully you get something yeah. you can use to scoop that out with. Uh, looks like Ted's back with some more force ingredients. It can only be good things. All right. <laughs> yeah, it, it only, only means be. good things. Uh, chat wanted to, me to hit a fat dab. You want to hit it with me? Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I got one, two, three. Hey. All right. Perfect. <laughs> You got granulated garlic and a uh, Rainier. This is a uh, right, lager yeah. there for Ooh, you. Baby. In addition to the granulated garlic. Now, the fourth ingredient for the Purple Squad, they're doing uh, oatmeal here. So, Ooh. some little. Uh, fourth ingredient? Yeah, that's a fourth ingredient. It's not too so bad, right? That's, no. Oh, look at that. And the bean cake. <laughs> yeah, it's why not? It's going to help the bean cake. Yeah, but man, this Green Squad, I think, working against you. Yeah, I think it's so. Thanks, uh, guys. Can I get it's some salt, trolls. guys? Right. We're not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now I I'm gonna really need some salt. No, you don't. That's here. a lie. Wow, I swear I do. I don't think so. I would never <laughs> lie to you. <laughs> I uh, well, I mean, we did just meet. I just right. It's all good. But we still <laughs> go way back. <laughs> Honor among Chefs. deaths. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> trying to talk to my judges over here. Uh, I don't know if the camera can see this. I just want to look at Chef Alyssa's dishes. Those are clean. Yes. Uh, uh, judge, uh, uh, judge Jesse over there, however, uh, he's kind of left it to be to be desired. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about these first dishes. Whew. I think the microwave definitely killed the fish a oh, little yeah. bit. It yeah. got a little dry. And with the noodles not having any flavoring to it, I felt like the dish was like uneven. It felt. Okay. All what right. What do you think? Yeah, that was my biggest gripe with the the vermicelli here is that uh, it wasn't seasoned, unfortunately. But the salmon um, in both uh, both pieces was it was good. Um, I went to Chipotle an hour ago, so I <laughs> that's why I'm not I'm not finishing my dish. Pre otherwise, it's very it's very good. And I think I'm supposed to preserve the integrity of my stomach so that my palate is very clean for every right. next. Well, that's why you got some bottles of water. You guys, are, you got some ginger ale to help with that. Um, but but uh, overall, they were good. Not very of the ballpark, though. I can't picture these being thrown in this stand. One was more ballpark to me. Oh, I agree. What, which one was more ballpark to you? I think that um, the bowl dish was more ballpark just because you can carry it around. I, I completely right, yeah. agree. You know what I mean? All right. Yes. All right. Um, But yeah, I was surprised the banana peppers actually worked pretty well. Yeah, yeah, I, like, I like the I way. Is, yeah, yeah, I like the way he he mixes those into the into the uh, the couscous there. All right, right, we're gonna get the scores right up here on the screen right now. Let's see how uh, how these chefs did, how you guys scored though. Getting a <laughs> shot of the, uh, the food right there, you can see yeah. the delicious plate, and of course the other ones. All right, it looks like the pirate squad came out with 38 points. Uh, 
for that. And the Ninja Squad, 30 points. So Ninja Squad needs to make up, needs to make up a little bit of points there. Uh, at the ballpark, scored really low, however, on Pirate Squad. But uh, pretty low scores all around for Ninja Squad. Both wow. taste, it wasn't sexy. It, it's, no, like, it was like four. slightly above. Yeah. Like, Alyssa, you voted. Everything was slightly above sexy. Love decent slightly. taste there. However, uh, Jesse, you, you're very sexy on the uh, the Pirate Squad's dish there. I thought this was a sexy dish. Yeah, it was a sexy I dish. I think grill marks are sexy. And I think, uh, in general, the color of that fish is looking good. All right, yeah. great. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to go and talk to, talk to these chefs here, how they're going to deal with those forced ingredients. We'll check out back in with you guys just a minute here. Uh, forced ingredients, oatmeal. Talk to me about this oatmeal. Uh, <clears throat> it's in there like swimwear. It's in there like <laughs> swimwear. All right, you, your hands are filthy. Do you need help right now? Is yeah, that thank you. you. That's, why like, you're, that's you, why you're the best. <laughs> you look... You look awful, I sir. I just want to let you know right <laughs> that now. That hurt. <laughs> your, your hands are in a mess. <laughs> just in there. All right. So the oatmeal is going to actually work for you. Raspberry jam, however, talk to me. I have Zach. absolutely no idea how we're doing raspberry jam. We will figure that out when we get there. Maybe a cool plating, like like do slot. that like back yeah. of spoon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your plate now costs six dollars more. Yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> that's, yeah. How, that's how it, that's how it works. Uh, I'm going to talk to the judges again real fast. Uh, sorry to pound you back and forth in production. Uh, judges, talk to me about oatmeal and raspberry preserves. What are, what are your thoughts on how you think this is going to work into black beans? The black beans. Black beans. We got raspberry preserves on the ninja side and oatmeal on the, uh, the pirate side. Like, I love both of those things individually, but <laughs> never have I eaten either of those things with black beans. So. Well, I'll say this. I, I, I hang out at Chaco Canyon kind of frequently, and I have black bean brownies, um, and those are... those. Make black it's like beans. Like some vegan shit. Though. Yeah, but, that, but you know, it's it's been done, so you know what? There's precedent for it. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> all right, uh, that's, that's that's all I need to hear. Uh, I'm still a hot be, mess. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, what was that name again? Now this didn't work out nearly <laughs> okay. as well as I thought it was going to. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out and thank you to B J Cobbledick, <laughs> who gave us. <laughs> Excellent name. <laughs> who gave us a sub. Thank you so much. We appreciate you, BJ Cobbledick. Uh, chefs, you have just a little over 10 minutes left Thanks. for your black bean dish. The black um, bean dish. You guys are still only working with one heat source. Know, yes, it's, it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. I just realized he got the pot. I don't know if he was given the front burner with the pot. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, you know what happens? It works out. It happens right there. Uh, Clearly it didn't help. Clearly it didn't help. Uh, did you open these cannellini beans? The cannel you opened cannellini? them. Uh, I opened them for you. Are, <laughs> are you going to use them? Did you use them? I did. Okay. I'm just, they're just sitting there doing nothing. I'm not sure. They're marinating. They're marinating. Great. Air. Uh, all right. They're uh, arinating. <laughs> arinating. <laughs> I got nothing. I don't know. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, yeah, you still haven't even quite started yet on these uh, on your black bean cake. Oh, you're working. Sorry. Oh no. Man down. Don't worry, I'll eat it. <laughs> Ted, Ted, Ted will eat, eat it. it. He's Speaking not of which, lying. Ted's coming back right now. Ted. Hey, what's going on? Oh God, it's getting away from me here. I just let it go. All right, so Purple Squad voted for you. David, what some else? spice sea salt. Thank I'm you. showing the camera here, this teeny little thing. Faces. It's spice sea salt. <laughs> Can you read that? And uh, <laughs> the sabotage is upside down for the green squad. Okay. Mike, I don't know. Uh, I think he's head. got a plate. Yeah. Yeah. Plating uh, is upside down? You got a plate. Yeah, you got to plate this upside down. Okay. So sabotage, <laughs> they, perfect. He's already, uh, you know, with the with the rice with the with the cakes though the bean cakes it actually might be, you know it's gonna give them a nice little I think lip. This is actually gonna help me. Yeah, I think that's gonna help. Thanks, you. gang. Appreciate it. They Keep that up. Man. Yeah, that works. I like that. I like that you immediately turn those plates upside down. That's great. We're gonna get you a sabotage pretty Can you soon. You open that. Yeah. Thank you. Can you stop, open that? Stop closing everything. Look, I'm not. Close, I did. I know. Come on. I'm not here to do everything for you. I thought you Dave. cared. <laughs> I'm. It's not my squad anymore, oh, so yeah. I don't. Wait, is it not? not? No. You're, you're floating. I am. I am the. Neutral? I am. I am the neutral. I am the Sweden. The Switzerland. <laughs> Which one? Is it Swiss? I don't remember. I'm neutral. What the hell happened over here? Can we get a shot of this in the? Beginning? Please do. It's magical. <laughs> What? <laughs> Please do. It's so absolutely. I, I don't fantastic. normally go on a tangent like that, but all of a sudden I just completely it's like a squirrel because uh, I see a mess over here. The judges both look like they're scared for their lives right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. This, this is, is not the intention. This is worrisome on so many levels. And how, man? If I had, if I had something like a burner to cook on, that would be super helpful. Uh, can I ask you a question? <laughs> yes. Is, is the sweet relish mixed in with the raspberry preserves right That is here? correct. 
<laughs> we are going with the whole sweet versus savory. We're going to see how it goes. What can go wrong? Um, looks like everything. <laughs> <laughs> what can go wrong? Uh, judges. <laughs> Talk to me. What are your thoughts about what is happening over here on either side? Oh my there god. Both you guys look fucking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> that. That all right. <laughs> fucking terrifying. <laughs> well, uh, just to make matters worse. I, I will say this though, if if it is uh, unintentional that over there you should own it, man. Like you should uh, act like it is intentional. <laughs> this should, was the whole plan. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get Ted back here uh, to come in. And give us a new, a new uh, sabotage here. All right, now Green Squad, uh, you voted for your chef some multi-grain crackers. Okay. Got some mushrooms, a full pack of mushrooms Ooh, there. Ooh, baby! And <laughs> the sabotage is Thank saucy. You. God, saucy great. is the All sabotage. Right. Uh, I mean. So saucy means what's going to happen here is Chef Zach, you get to add one teaspoon of any of your liquid. Wait. To Chef David's dish. I don't like how that's going. Oh, baby! Does it have to be one of the things you gave me, or can it be one of the things I made? It can be... If you can put that, that weird shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what, what is it? <laughs> what have got? It's the salsa and orange uh, soda, brother. I'm so excited right now. This is going to be great. I'm so excited for this. Oh, no. It's right in there. All right, great. Sorry. I'm surprised Thank you, you went with those instead of sure. the already in the <laughs> pot <laughs> oh, rounded. No. They're fine. They're, okay, sure. They're fine. Here, I'll take this from you. Oh, yeah, please anymore. get that out of here. All right. Great. Okay. Let's talk to the judges here about these sabotages. Judges, how do you think the sabotages are going to affect uh, either chef? Uh, we got upside down uh, on the Ninja Squad side. And then you just saw him add this... This orange soda, roasted salsa verde, and I think turmeric was in there. Mm -hmm. Salsa to the black bean mixture he's got over there. Judges, talk to me. Man, I think that the upside down plating, if I just went to like a nice restaurant in Seattle, I would assume I'd be paying more for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> like that restaurant where you eat in the dark. Yeah, yeah. 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 everything is upside money down. On lighting. I feel like the turmeric might not ruin the beans, but I don't know what other. So it's seasonings. it's orange soda, salsa verde, and the turmeric. Yeah. That all. was actually a, a decent glaze that on the salmon. That's a good salmon. glaze. Okay, all right. It was good. That was good. That was a good glaze on the salmon. I just don't know what's happening in that, on that bean cake or whatever. All right. So, <laughs> so they actually liked the sauce from from Ninja Squad that was put into your. Uh, oh, thanks. I knew you cared. And that would have been helpful to know beforehand. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, well, chefs, you both have got about five minutes left. Are, are these going to cook through in the next five minutes? Damn right. <laughs> it's great. That we Damn right they are. All right, great. We're going to get some scoring categories here in just a second. We're going to see how these are going to be scored. Them. Okay, there you go. Yeah, because you, you otherwise you're going to have those little, like, poop balls going on over there. It's just, <laughs> I, I'm concerned for you. Uh, Thank here, you. Here comes, here comes, whoa, oh, here comes Ted. Whoa, oh, we're doing that again, that <laughs> voice, the wacky voice. <laughs> the wacky 90s. All right, 90s. now, uh, Purple Squad has voted for you some Cheerios. Thanks. I don't know if that helps you. Some cumin, we got some more of that, yeah, or some cumin, as some mountain. people call it. Yeah. And <laughs> the scoring category is fine dining. Cool. Fine dining whoa. will be one of the scoring categories. Looks especially good for that bean loaf over there. Yeah, right. You, you <laughs> so, are you done with these? <laughs> Hell no. All right, we'll keep those on there right. then. I was trying to clear some space for you because you didn't touch them at all yet. Oh, fine. but maybe I did. <laughs> Dude, maybe, maybe you did. Maybe I did. Maybe you did. I'm not telling uh, you. Fine dining. I was like, wait, what was this? I know I just heard the scoring category. Can you hand me the large round? The large round? What the hell is that? Oh, yeah, sure. I was like, what the hell is the large round here? How do you get a sous chef and I don't? You can ask me for stuff. <laughs> you can ask me for stuff. I'm right here. All right. I'm cool. right here. I'm here to help both. Uh, oh, you did the thing. I you did the thing. <laughs> what thing? I did the stupid pretentious smear on the plate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's great. Because we were saying we want we want because he wasn't going to know how to use the raspberry preserves that yeah, was forced upon him. So what? Uh, okay. What is? Yeah. Right, we're going You're appetizer going on this bad boy. Right. You know what? For fine dining. I can see how this works. It's like you get those little, like, sometimes when you go to a fine dining restaurant, you get the really, like, crappy, crappy bread, like the right. real thing, crunchy bread, which I hate. Uh, so I see what you got going on there. This looks like a, like a, yeah, I got to try this. It's actually not too bad. It needs the sauce, though. Not actually not too bad on your own. You're right. Holy yeah. crap. That worked. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you are. <laughs> the best part about that 
was the judges sort of almost like did this like oh, like holy shit yeah, we're so yeah, happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking uh, on the beans. Uh, here comes Ted. Need some orange juice, orange soda, dude? No, I got, I got, I got my monster. I'm good. <laughs> All right, so we got another uh, wonderful. Wow, I can smell that cumin from over yeah. here. Did you pop that open already? Popped it. All right, we've got the red wine vinegar for the green squad. There oh, you go. Oh, hold on, whoa. let me show the camera. Yeah, right there we go. <laughs> now give me my teeny tiny thing. And the scoring category is first date. Wow. First date, fine dining with first date with black bean patties <laughs> for yeah. everybody. Are you done already? With your yeah. You're not getting a second day. How much time we got? <laughs> you got two and a half minutes left. I'm clearing down. I'm going to be here right. for a minute. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, you're clearing down. Fine dining, fine first date. First date. That looks set. David, talk to me. Um, so this is like a little poke kind of yeah. three bean salad with two beans. Um, with two beans. So it's a two, <laughs> two bean salad. <laughs> you're quick. <laughs> it's my job. Um, and it's going to be served with, it started as an Asian kind of thing, <laughs> but then the cumin took it to a Southwestern kind uh, of thing. All right. You hear the, like, question mark in my voice? Yeah, no, I um, try not to, but. <laughs> and, but it's going to work. And then we have some nice uh, black bean croquettes. Okay, all right. That this are wonderfully term. infused with some oatmeal, <laughs> panko, and love. Oh, and love. <laughs> oh, Perfect oh. for the first date. Uh, yes. Judges. Judges, let's talk. Chefs, you have a minute and 30 left. Uh, judges, talk to me. First date, fine dining. You've seen what the, what the chefs are about to offer. Tell me your thoughts. I mean, once someone took me to Chipotle on a first date, so. That's a solid oh, So your bar is Yeah, like, so my <laughs> bar is very low. Um, is, that, is that a podcast like, episode? Please tell me that's, that's an episode of your podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think the black bean patties, they look better than I thought they were going to look, so maybe. The upside down plate, I think, is adding to that fine oh, dining experience. So. Yeah. That cool. actually oh. kind of worked out in, a fav in his favor. That's, you know, the show surprises people. Yeah, I know. That way. All right, great. Oh, wow. Well, they, chefs, you got a minute left. Uh, here comes Ted. Wait, do All you right. have the pot yet? Huh? Yeah, I got the pot. What? <clears throat> All right, I'm running in here yeah. real quick to I deliver this. I got, you got the some, pot. Oh, got it a while ago. He just doesn't have fire. Red salsa, you got uh, an IPA, and you got used to the back burner now. Well, drink that there shit. There you go. Do it. <laughs> you can uh, drink it, too. You can. Uh, judges, you also have a bar, don't forget. Um, a bar? They have a bar yeah. behind them. Did oh, you not see that? Snap. Uh, you guys got 30 <laughs> seconds left. You're going to need to start plating soon, because remember, hands down. You also, don't forget, Chef David, you now have that back burner. What? Which is great, considering you have no other heat things to put on that burner. And I'm going to put this pork shame. right on that burner. <laughs> I am not playing. <laughs> no, I know you're not. That's the scary part. Right. Uh, I, normally, there'd be like a much stronger countdown, but you're already done. And now, at this point, you're just decorating. There we go with the fine dining, the splotches, the little spatters. You guys are in for a treat this wow. round. Yeah. Judges, yeah. I'm legit jealous of your meal yeah. for this time right that now. That is how you sprinkle Two, it. One, time is up, done. Did you... <laughs> with Chef David with the flair, judge, uh, guys, go ahead and present right, your guys. dishes. I'm gonna go walk these over. We to have the, a little uh, hot and cold kind uh, of thing going beautiful. on. So oh, black bean oh, croquette. Oh, David, yeah, thank you so much. I was much. just <laughs> <all> <laughs> in it. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know. I was into it though. <laughs> yeah. Um, so black bean croquette. Yeah. With okay. a little of the uh, couscous left over from the first course, mm. and some panko to hold it together, and some oatmeal, which was the uh, sabotage oh. force ingredient. So follow the rules here. Oatmeal um, in here. Yes, that's all in there. Uh, then we mashed it up, smushed it together, and crossed our fingers that it would stay together. Okay. Uh, and then so it's served with a little two bean salad with a poke style salmon, mm. uh, a little soy sauce, a touch of cumin, and some grilled onions. Okay. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so coming in for ninjas. Wow. We've got a black bean and polenta cake, lightly seasoned. It's got some really good popcorn salt in there, so it's got a little bit of poppiness to it. We also have the multi-grain crackers. The glaze underneath is a raspberry and pickle relish yeah. okay. glaze. Definitely eat the glaze with the cake. Gives that nice little bit of moisture that you really need with it. Yeah. And definitely try the glaze on its own with the crackers. Enjoy. Thank you. Now, what is popcorn salt? I don't know. Did you say what is popcorn yeah, salt? I think it's popcorn. salt. It's popcorn. the salt that you normally get. Uh, it's the salt that they use specifically for popcorn at the movie theaters. So it's super salt. It's like it's very fine. It's very yeah. It's very fine. Super salty. How can you get saltier than just salt? <laughs> right. Believe it or not, you can. That's oh. the crazy part. Uh, I put this okay. back out there so we get the camera to see it. Fine. Uh, <laughs> all right. Bacon. Chefs. Ooh. Wow. 
That's fine. It is time for dish number three. Yeah, it is. My favorite protein, and most of America's favorite protein. Pork. Bacon. Bacon. All right, judges, the next dish you're going to be served, the feature ingredient is bacon. Oh, yeah. Can do that. Uh, it looks like voting <laughs> is happening already for the Green Squad. Let's get me. Let's get a countdown. Three. Can I get a request. Two, one. Squad says cook. It's bacon time. You got a request, David? What do you want? Can I have some corn, guys? Get some corn. What bacon and corn. corn bacon or and corn. Friends. Really? I've never had bacon and corn. If you're lucky, tonight's the night. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm like, I don't think we've <laughs> played we, cards, we, right? <laughs> we haven't. We haven't had corn on the show since Ted couldn't figure out what it looked like. Since the ever since, show. ever since then, they're like, forget it, no more corn. <laughs> Nobody knows what it is. Nobody knows what it is. <laughs> they said they gave Ted bacon and uh, and polenta and told him it was bacon and corn. Ted was like, yup, sure is. Looks great. All right. Roll with you, it. All right, uh, Chef Zach, you're already slicing the crap out of this bacon. Talk to me. So I'm actually going to be looking at these mushrooms that I got earlier. I'm going yep. to. probably going to try to stuff them if I can. Ooh, holy crap. So you got me. We can stuff these with some bacon. Oh, that sounds amazing. I, I'm a huge fan of stuffed mushrooms, uh, which awesome. is, it's harder because my wife doesn't like mushrooms. So whenever we go to a nice restaurant, I'm always like, I want to get this appetizer. We you know, could try to share. So it's rare for me to get one. So save me one. If oh, I happens. got you, dude. I got you covered. <laughs> what I need, though, is cheese. Cheese. Oh, man. Uh, cheese oh, would be dude. boss with this. Talking my language. There's a, get the stuffed mushrooms, a little cheese, a little, uh, little bacon in there. Yeah, a little chive, a little bit of yeah. green oh, stuff. Oh, I'm so hungry. I can't wait. I hope this happens for you. Ninja Squad, make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen right there. Chef David, talk to me. What's up, bro? What are you going to do with this bacon? You want the corn? You got some salsa right now? I don't know if you're going to use that salsa. Yeah, it's going to go back here for now. It's, all right. Is that Okay, so that's what you're doing. It's my sure. area. Sure, that's your area. Uh, no, that's good, though, because you're keeping this area nice and clean, which we appreciate. Just trying to keep it camera ready. Can't try to keep it <laughs> camera ready. Just for you, production. Hey. Uh, you still got this beer. You can oh, crack this open. I'm and drink that. <laughs> you want to crack that open for you? Watch this. What? <laughs> Like, <laughs> like wearing a frat, he just, he's just a spoon, he just, just popped that sucker open. Not the first time I've done that. Uh, yeah, you seem like you're a pro. What's your plan with this bacon? Uh, I'm going to do it a few different ways. Ooh, the, I'm going to serve it raw. No, no but, uh, what I love, though, is, of course, like, you're like the master of, I'm going to do something four or five different ways. So I like that. Every time you're on the show, it's like, here's this two or three ways. Yeah. What are you, how are you going to make this bacon? Uh, I'm going to roast it, and I'm going to braise it. Roast it and braise it. All right, that's two ways. I'm just gonna, throwing out words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Great. Just going to toss out some words. Uh, all right. Here comes Ted. Super Saiyan Ted. Super Saiyan Ted. What the hell is that? What the hell is coming up here? Oh, no. I just heard something amazing. There I'm going to you guys in just a second. All right. So I was drinking water. Got to stay hydrated with that's my Super Saiyan cup that oh, my awesome. roommate gave me for Christmas. So cool. Right? That's Look legit. at that. The lights cool. and everything. All right. Yeah. So they gave you an electric steamer. So, Ooh, a okay. vegetable some, steamer. Some steamed bacon? Yeah, steamed mushrooms. Oh, I've had that before. It's a bad. delicious colander. Ooh. And the Wait, fourth ingredient the for the Purple Squad going. is horseradish. Ooh. Then I'll look at it as a fourth ingredient. That it's, sounds uh, delicious see, to me. I, I hate horseradish. So Spicy bacon? Yeah, all right, spicy bacon. All right, I just found out, and Chef Zach, I'm so sorry, your squad had the option to vote for eggs. And they chose not to. I'm okay with that. You're all right with that. All right, because my you squad go, knows me well. Your squad knows you well. All right. Horse Guess radish. what? I suck at cooking. <laughs> Eggs. Do you really? I'm terrible yeah. at it. All right. So you've got it's a steamer. It's going gonna... It's gonna to be a thing. I hate kitchen gadgets so much. <clears throat> all right. Well, good luck with that. Well, uh, I'm going to need it. Horseradish. Yeah. Talk to me. I don't know yet. You don't know yet. All right. Honestly. Are you a fan of the horseradish? It's cool. It has its place. Oh, oh I don't like it at all. Did you get a big whip? I took a huge whip. <laughs> took a huge whip. Uh, Solid plan. Uh, B our good friend BJ Cobbledick says, crack it open. Let's talk about the beer. BJ Cobbledick, best <laughs> name ever. <laughs> That's Can just you thick. tell us how you came yeah. up with that name? <clears throat> uh, we had a cheer? I didn't see it. I don't see it in there. Uh, Lazariasi right there with a 200-bit cheer. Thank you so much. Uh, Redfan27 says, I wanted to give them sage, but no. Uh, I, 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 sorry, I, assume, I assume that's how they say it also. <laughs> I don't, uh, actually, I don't yes. That. That's how they would say it, but Absolutely. no. Great. That's great. Uh, everyone's like, oh, my God, he's talking to us now. I can now see the chat, so you're welcome, yes. chat. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're going to get some fortune ingredients from Ted right now as soon as he gets those back up there. All right. Uh, <laughs> we'll come back to you guys. Don't worry. Nothing. There's nothing happening over there. Just clearing some plates. Great. Uh, Kassarin says, hello, Dad. Hello, child. I'm not going to assume a gender. I'm just gonna... Hello, child. I am the dad. I'm the daddy. The... <laughs> 
It's our first show back. It's the first show, <laughs> Sam. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, judges, we're going to be coming to you in just a second here after, got, right after we get these fork ingredients. All right, now we've got... Uh, <laughs> which of these do you think are the fork ingredient, Mike? I'm going to guess... The the Hello Panda? Mm. Yep, so there okay. we go. You're getting some significantly worse uh, force ingredients over here, I gotta wow. say. Yeah. Um, but I'll be sorry. Purple Squad gets some oyster sauce and some pineapple juice. That's cool. Great. There uh, there's a chat of the skillet yeah. happening right now. In, uh, so you, maybe you'll get a skillet, uh, so that'll be fun. Hello Pandas! Hello, strawberry flavored. So oh, even worse. Even oh, no. better. Oh, oh no, talk to me about this. So have you ever seen one of these? I have. I love them. They're those. amazing and yeah. they're super cool. Where's right the best one? one? Right, that one right there, yeah. Zoom. These things are fantastic. Ed, Ted, what are so good. Oh, yeah. you want one? Yeah, we're awesome. legit. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to come back. I'm going to talk to the judges your around. Mouth. Oh, God, over. come on, man. You're <laughs> wasting my stuff. This is me sauntering over. Hi, judges. Hey. Hey, Mike. How's it going, Mike? It's good. <laughs> it's good. Talk to me about uh, those black bean dishes. They were, oh, they were really good, and I thought great. they did did a great job sticking to the, uh, the 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 judging categories. I thought both were very fancy. Yeah. Small portions, yeah. plated, confusingly. <laughs> and, yeah, I agree. And um, also, small small portions are great first date thing because you you know top keep up, it light. Top, and keep, keep it light. light, keep it light, keep but it light top just us. in case it yeah. goes yeah. well. Yeah. It's yeah. also an ideal first date because you don't know what people like yet. Yeah. That's true. Um, they tasted pretty similar to me. Really? The two dish dishes. I don't know. It's just a lot of beans. <laughs> <We're> gonna, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of beans. Uh, we're going we're to get to the, the scores in a little bit, but I want to know personally, uh, how did the raspberry sauce work with the, with the beans? It was heavy relish. Oh, really? So yeah. Too much relish I feel like the relish, the relish, like, took over the raspberry. Well, also <laughs> sweet relish, too, so you can have yeah. much more of that like, sweet pickle flavor. It was good. Actually, that one kind of felt like a dessert. Where really? the other one felt like an appetizer. Yeah, I thought that yeah. relish was the best, uh, the best thing about uh, either dish. Really? Yes, mm. Zach, kudos That's to you on the, on wow. the raspberry relish. Sweet. I wanted more yeah. from the crackers, though. Really? Like, I almost feel like the crackers could have been incorporated a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you could have crushed that up with your hands. You, you've been big on using your hands thus far, so you could have <laughs> more with your hands. What about, what about the two-bean salad? It was good. It was good. Very yeah, the light. poke too. Very, yeah, very. I, like, yeah. I like that Chef David is sort of hanging on to some of the earlier ingredients to use and to continue to yeah. use as it goes on. R so we're going to scores up right now and see how you guys scored this one. And let's see where we're at here. Uh, so, wow. So it sounds like both chefs and both squads are actually handling pretty well. All right. Here we go. Scores are coming up right now. Uh, in that round, wow. uh, Pirate Squad scored 51 points. Ninja Squad, though, scored 55 Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, so that's that grand be. total. I, don't, I can't see the total over there, but that's fine. But that's, again, still anybody's game, uh, which is great. Wow, with tens, so many tens, both I squads given tens. Yeah, you, uh, listen, just the ten queen right here. Give me a ten. <laughs> I both did, the fine, I did. Both the fine dining the first date on all, on both squads' dishes is great. It was, it was very, it was very fun. I was like, okay, cool. That was probably the best, most fine dining experience I I've ever had. I and and, and, and uh, <laughs> Jesse, the taste on the pirate. I'm not a big fan of the taste of the, uh, the the, the bean cake and the poke salad, huh? Oh, you know, I you know, I thought that um, the the consistency of the croquet was a was a little not to my liking, but I, I love the dish. Otherwise, I thought it was super fancy. Great. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, you guys looking forward to bacon? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so am I. Right, let's, come let's come back and check in with these uh, their judges here. Uh, ninjas, right now, super happy in the chat right now. Ninjas, ninjas, speak up, ninjas. Also saw. I didn't get to see it. We had, yeah, two gifted subs. It was over there. Uh, who got gifted? BJ Cobbledick. BJ Cobbledick gifted two subs. <laughs> BJ Cobbledick. Of course. Of course they did. But let's see who he gifted them to. We're going to get them up there right now. Uh, Kassarn, all right, my son. And, uh, and Dick Sweat 69. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to our new <laughs> late wait. night 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. time slot, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this. Yeah, it's Dick Sweat 69. <laughs> This is this is what we're at right now. Uh, uh, we don't have a timer set, so I have no idea how long you guys have left on these bacon dishes. Yolo. What are what are you, what are you doing over here? Can we can we get a shot of this right now with Chef David? Chef David. So I took all the sauces that I had and I mixed them together. Uh, you know, I felt like uh, oyster sauce and pineapple juice and soy sauce played nicely together. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll with it and see how it you know comes out. And then so now I'm gonna glaze this bacon with it. Great. We were going to use this for more shows at some we point. Still wash the, it. We don't want to wash this. Oh, we'll I think we just wanted to refill it. It'll be good. So thanks for be making delish. more fucking work for us. Extra flavor. <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> I do what I can. You do what I can, of course. This is why you always make a mess when you get here. Yes. Uh, what mess? Look at this technique. So I have. <laughs> Just right now. Because <laughs> you have the burner, but no, but no other heat source, which is great. Uh, let's go over here and check in with Chef Zach, who's going to steam the mushrooms. Like <laughs> I got a steamer. What else do I yeah. supposed to do with it? <laughs> great. Okay, you guys have ten minutes left. Uh, also, FYI. So oh, that's sweet. Great. Um, now that we have a uh, burner here, what is your going to be plan with these now one fewer Hello Pandas? Uh, there's actually a lot fewer than just one. They're delicious. So <laughs> I'm not sure how they're going to go down, but we're going to try to turn them into something, possibly a garnish. Ooh, okay. We'll see what we can do with that. I love that all of your force ingredients become sort of like a garnish or some sort of like thing to happen afterwards. That's pretty much where I'm at at this point is just cheating. That's so, really what it comes down to. Well, here's the thing. It's up to the judges. The judges can decide whether or not you've incorporated the force ingredient to their liking. They can decide, you know what? He just threw a panda on there. Minus points. Exactly. Right. We saw somebody um, back in December, back in 20, back in 2018, as a matter of fact, so long somebody ago. got minus like five points because they felt that there was the um, not enough, uh, the forced ingredient wasn't incorporated well enough into their dish. Mm. So that's, that's, you guys have that power, judges, just sure. FYI. FYI, here comes Ted. Ted, so, you've got... <laughs> as you can see... What happened? I have nothing on here. You have nothing on uh, here? That's because your squad has finally given you use of the front burner. Hey! hey. Uh, you Let's also go. have a message from Mia saying that if you pull this out of your ass, yeah. you will be uh, given dinner. Ooh. You Sweet! Be I'm in! Treated that to dinner. Let's go. Also, sabotage for the Purple Squad. <laughs> One arm bandit for five minutes. So okay. this is the second time you've lost use of your arm. You got to pick an arm that goes behind your back for five minutes. Perfect. See you in a minute. Bye. See ya. Great. Uh, all right. What is happening right now? Is he, uh, is he left-handed? I don't. I don't. I don't know. There, are the you world will right never know. He said the world will never know. Not telling. <laughs> Now he's, now he's keeping it a secret from production. Uh, talk to me about what you got going on here. You just poured those beans in there. I see they some would bacon. know if they paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh, so talk to me right now. Jesus, Thank you're, you. making, a, you're uh, making a mess of it. I got one arm here. Uh, yeah, so you've got some bacon, some onion, some beans. Finger gun. What, the finger guns. What else you got going on here? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just picking it up with my hands. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about what is the... Oh, it's not <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's like a play on a succotash. It's like a play on a succotash. Because I don't have corn, so it's not an actual... Well, you can, it's a cannellini bean succotash. A cannellini bean succotash right there. Cannellini bean succotash. A can you uh, open this? Uh, yeah. Uh, we should, it was not even... It was already there. Uh, all right. Judges asked a question. What is a succotash? So, can s classically... <laughs> thank you. Uh, classically, it's a kind of a side dish composed of corn, some lima beans, some bacon always goes nicely mm -hmm. in there, some shallot, and a little mm -hmm. touch of cream. Just kind of bind it all together. It. Uh, it's an amazing dish on its own or as an accompaniment to anything else. Is it usually like a sad dish? A sad? Yeah, because Daffy Duck always says suffering succotash. Yeah, that's a good one. So I was wondering if it's like all sad or not. Is it not? It makes me happy. <laughs> there you go. I'm not sure. There you go. Well, you guys have... S under just a little over six minutes left, about six and a half minutes left. Uh, what are you doing? I'm cooking, Dad. Leave me alone, Master Andy Wan, making fun of me right now for being the dad in the show right now. I got to keep these guys in check. Uh, oh. Make Ian wear a blindfold for like a minute while he works. We don't want anyone to die or get hurt. I think I know who that is. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, what was that production? We missed it. Oops. Oh, yeah. They don't only make you cover one at a time. Um, that looks uh, disgusting. It does. It's just FYI. <laughs> Ted's coming <laughs> back here. Uh, so. Please, God. <laughs> you Please, God, let the first ah, ingredient yeah, be yeah, something not Look, I'm waiting, for, I'm waiting for your signal. Uh, you know, we're, it's, we agreed the signal was this. Oh, you right. haven't been doing that this, this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your sabotage <laughs> is mugged. So we'll explain that in a moment here. Okay. Uh, the things you got, though, were a uh, tomato sauce. I'm down with that. And butter beans. Butter. More beans. Like more, more beans. beans. So many beans. Can you open this for me? Yeah, I got it. Uh, so mugged, uh, Chef Zach, because apparently Pirate Squad wants to see you plate in all kinds of wacky ways. You have to plate in mugs. You have to serve your dish in mugs. 
I will get those for you. Oh, uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. No, no, no. I'm, I got I'm, plenty of time. I can go get yeah, them You do have plenty of time. Uh, so let me go ahead and get these three mugs for you. Right? Mm. My hands are clean. That's good. Uh, <laughs> I've been washing mine the whole time. Don't worry. Yeah. All right. So there we go. So mud. Yeah. Uh, so Your mud for you. All right. You got one arm behind your back. You got, again, you the get rules, the rules, man. You get to lose the arm. You get to you get to sit there plate and in mugs. and plate and mugs. You at home get, get to enjoy. follow the channel. Get to follow us on Instagram. Get to follow us on Twitter. Tell your friends about the show. We are here every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This show would not be possible without your help. Uh, you guys, as you can see, have complete control of all this stuff. You can join us, like I said, on Twitter. You can join us on Instagram. You can join us on Discord. And in fact, in Discord, we have a special channel for all you folks at home to sit there and submit sabotages. Submit suggestions of featured ingredients. In fact, there was one time somebody said, you should do a mystery box. And you know what we did? The very next day, we had a mystery box. So make sure you guys... Hey, Mike. The, the, the squab? Oh, right, yes. Yeah, so he was like, you know what I want to say? Pigeon meat. We had Ooh. pigeon meat. We had squab. You had squab? Oh, no. It's like a tiny chicken. Yeah. Uh, wow. It's a lot gamier than yeah, chicken. Yeah, it was it weird. Did, yeah. We ate it. Shallow bowls. It was, it was weird. So yeah. that, those are the Thank things you. that, and that was all suggested by a fan. So you can get in there. Uh, yeah, Squab says, Kevin Puck says right now. Uh, so those are all the things you can do right there. Uh, mittens, mittens can be one. The Griffin Cat, put it in the Discord. Come and join us on all these, on all these ways. I'm just right, coming out here anyway. Yeah, do it. You're, you were busy, you were busy call to actioning. I was call to actioning. And uh, here we go. So Green Squad mm -hmm. has voted you. If, you. if you could get one thing from them, would you say it was maple syrup and Tabasco? <laughs> because that's what you got. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> now the scoring category for this round is going to be sloppy. Sloppy is the scoring oh, category. So if you might, wow. Okay, you're you're in luck. All right. Oh God. Do you like spicy? So on that count, can I? Have, Do you like I have spicy? A plate. Good. Is this my selection right here? All right. The front as well. Uh, all right. You you can use your hands. Uh, so yeah, we've got we've got the camera on this. Uh, we've got to, let me move this over, because yeah. here's, what, here's what's going on, and judges, I don't know if you've been paying attention, he's crushed up the Hello Pandas, yeah. 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 he's mixed it with the raspberries from earlier, and he just put some squirts of Tabasco sauce in there. <laughs> I no longer want one of these stuffed mushrooms. <laughs> you can get yours without sauce. I'm going to get mine without <laughs> sauce, yes please, that would be a great thing. Uh, I want to give Ian a holster, it's just the Tabasco sauce IRL, that's hilarious. Uh, Chef Zach, they keep calling you Ian. It's oh, yeah, you guys need to figure this out. It's throwing me off, Just Chef Zach. Just call me Marvelous. That's right. Fine. Chef Marvelous. That's the new, that's the new hotness. To We're, be fair, they're in another state. That, okay, well, there you go. We got two and a half minutes left, uh, chefs, before you guys need to present and hands down. Judges, let's talk sabotage. Mm. one arm bandit and mugged. Mugged. Yeah. Talk to me about your thoughts on either of these. I think that, I think mugged might work out okay. <laughs> Again. M well, mug, <laughs> because it, it's sloppy, right? So that kind of calls for everything to be together. The one hand, nobody wants him to cook with more than one hand. I really think, I know. Though, I really think though, that's David's calling. Like, that's really, who, you could be a voluntary amputee or something, because you won, <laughs> you won the last time. I had to stop time. spooning that. <laughs> like, I almost dropped it. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> you won the last time. You were restricted to just kind of one oh, appendage true, there, right? man. Yeah. And I think that that's, that's just kind of your thing now. I think you maybe even try it next time without uh, the sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, Ted's back. Ted's I up. am uh, back with some rice vinegar from the oh. Purple Squad. Heck yeah. We've also got a rice cooker with no lid because there was no lid prepped for me there. Great. <laughs> I'll look for that somewhere. And then we also have the scoring category, final one of technique. Technique is the last <laughs> scoring category. <laughs> Great. Ooh, so here, so I'll hand tonight. that to you. Oh, I, Enjoy. I actually have that covered. Just set that over there right now. Uh, are you going to use that rice cooker? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't we'll know. see. All right. Well, we got it ready. You let me know. We got Thank it off you. the side for now. Uh, judges, we've talked. Uh, <laughs> we've, judges, sloppy and technique. Uh, let's look at this. You guys have one minute left, by the way. Okay. Uh, right. Sorry. I was going to look okay. at the timer, but instead I see uh, Skype up. So I'm make sure <laughs> that that's, that didn't stay up there. Uh, talk to me about sloppy, this sloppy technique. I think I'm going to have to separate the two. Okay. So like technique, 
I, getting to witness all of this, I'll be like thinking about that, like what yeah. technique you use. Steamer, the technique of a steamer. <laughs> um, but because I don't think it's fair to put them together. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I, I separate them. I mean, I, as far as technique goes, I look at, you know, like Zach's very dexterous with his hand. He seems very. Ah! Gonna fall. Ooh, baby. He seems very adept with his with his uh, fingers, and uh, I I've been noting that kind of the entire time. So, just kind of how they go about the preparation. All right, great. We've got just about ten seconds left, uh, chefs. Uh, seven, six, five, four. Or th okay, all right. We done. Oh, we it's just go. hands down. Thank you. Right, sure, we'll go. I'll, I'll grab whatever one. Go ahead and pick that over there. Going over here now. Okay. David, so I'm trying you know to, to go. approach the sloppy with technique. With some actual technique. So what I did, uh, it's kind of like a splatter method. I took the plate and I held it down here and I splattered the succotash down on the plate. Like that uh, painter. Yeah. Van Gogh. Well, uh, I no, I, mean, I, mean, I was just Van making sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's a play on uh, succotash. We have caramelized bacon, cannellini mm -hmm. beans, butter beans, um, pickled peppers, and a little pineapple oyster glaze on the top. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is the yeah. best thing I've eaten tonight. Thank you yeah. so much. Enjoy, guys. Mm. Awesome. Coming in hot from Mugville. <laughs> 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 All right, so we've got some steamed mushrooms stuffed with a rosemary <clears throat> bacon topped mm. with a sweet hot jam using raspberry mm. jam, hello panda, strawberry flavored oh, crackers, oh, and yeah. Tabasco. Do you yeah. recommend eating the jam? With the jam with bite? the bacon. Okay. Yes, you get the saltiness, the savoriness, and the sweet all together. Okay. Enjoy. Oh, delicious. How you doing? Good, man. Good. You having a good time? All right, you already started. Fun. You weren't. You were supposed to wait for me to introduce oh. the next oh. one. I got happy. See, I yelled that last time, so I didn't. Uh, I know. I know. All right. Don't yell at me. <laughs> okay. Don't Chefs. Yell. Purple Squad, you're gonna go ahead and start voting right now. Uh, there's gonna be a vote happening for Purple Squad. We're gonna get 20 minutes. On the clock, we're going to time it down right now. We're going to count it down for the next feature ingredients. Three, two, one. 20 minutes on the clock for the next feature ingredient. Judges, mini tortillas. Mini tortillas right there. Mini tortillas. Good. I have lots of thoughts about this. I would love to hear yours, Chef David. I already know where I'm going with this, but I'm going to... Hold it close. Yes. Again. Because I, I know yeah. how that can like All right. fire Here's on Here's the you. thing though. This is live. If you hold it in, that means you are, we're just quiet. We just sit here staring at each other I'm for minutes. If I hold it in. So it's, we want to make um, good so content and good TV. So I am going to. What would you like? Cook, what would you like to have? Happen? I'm going to cook the mini tortillas in the most exquisite manner possible <laughs> and garnish it with the finest accoutrement okay. that. It has ever seen in its short little life. Great. Uh, we're going to not use these dishes because this is the ones all the raw meats touch all the time. I no, know I you wash, wash them. them. I know. Yeah. We're still going to use them. I'm using them to prep for all meat. Okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> right. no, I'm not going to play it all. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. I'm looking out for my judges here. I would make you guys. <laughs> I promise. Did you save me a stuffed mushroom? No. Oh. You said you didn't want one. Oh. I, I didn't want the sauce, and you said don't eat it with the sauce. Anyways, talk to me about these mini tortillas. That's fine. Talk to me about the mini tortillas. What's so, your plan? Is it fine? Mini tortillas, so far, I've got a lime, I've got salsa. I don't have any other kind of protein to really work with quite yet, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go with that. Okay. If I had a cheese I could go with, that would be super helpful. Something still, veggie would be really helpful as well. You're still hankering for that, for that cheese. <laughs> I still uh, want that cheese. What's uh, Rent Fan says, my husband and I were quite confused. Rent Fan, what are you confused about? Did we miss something? Talk to us. Oh, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Is it about the... Uh, yeah, it's the, about the name thing. The, the Ian Zach thing, <laughs> thing that's happening. That's fine. Uh, considering the host defeated the purpose of being one-armed by opening the can for him, definitely no style points. Hey, yeah, I got yeah. you. You got me there, <laughs> Rent Fan. You definitely got me. You're right. I should have been like, you know what? No. I'm just, I'm just I'm trying to be a helpful guy on both sides. So I'm trying to help both teams out. So you're right. You're right. I, uh, I done goofed. I done goofed, Ted. I <laughs> done goofed. I done goofed. I'm over <laughs> here. What? I'm out here. Leave me alone. I, I, I just waiting for you to say something. Oh, no. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the, the force ingredient. This is only going to be amazing. What you guys are not seeing behind the scenes right now is just the most amazing thing in the world. This is great. This is... I cannot wait for this. You were doomed, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. wait, no. No, 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 no. This is uh, Purple Squad. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. You they get it. ginger. Okay. 
Purple Squad is also going to get some club crackers <laughs> and, and the fourth ingredient, <laughs> Rainbow Nerds. Wow. Um, yep. I know who voted for this, and yes, we are Rainbow Nerds. There we go. So enjoy that. I'll uh, see you back here in a second. <laughs> you awful people. How? How? Are you going to make like a nerd's quesadilla? Like, <laughs> what is... How? That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's actually not the worst idea uh, I've ever crap. heard. You should, don't hold me responsible for this, judges. No, no hope, you. You're going to Hope he doesn't it. get cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because a nerd's... Also, screw cheese. I don't need it. He doesn't... Oh, it says he doesn't need the cheese anymore. All right. <laughs> a nerd's quesadilla. <laughs> oh, man. Did the scores go back there? Oh, no. We're going to wait for the fourth ingredient. After the fourth ingredient. Uh, comes back, then I'm gonna come talk to you guys about the scores for that last dish. Uh, I wanna, first of all, judges, I want to thank you guys yes. for also busting your own table. We appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. You didn't know you have to do that when you were no. you're, they're like, we didn't sign up for this. <laughs> um, great. You got what? You got club crackers yeah. and spiced or just regular ginger. Can I have some of those nerds? You, Heck yeah, dude. Thank what? you. I haven't had nerds in so long. Oh, you just oh, uh, we're just gonna eat, eat, eat them. I'm just right. Right. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> still happy right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I, did. I was going to wait. <laughs> yeah, I, you're damn right I do. Yeah, I was like, no, I want some nerds. Okay, great. Those are so good. <laughs> I know, right? I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I just got lost in the moment. Wait, so when you eat your nerds, do you crunch them all up? I see you doing that, so I know the answer. Or do you, like, suck the outside coating off? It depends. Right now, I'm in a hurry. I just crunch them all up. Right. Uh, Dick Sweat 69 says, Pirate Life. I just want to say Dick Sweat 69. Right. Pirate <laughs> Talk to me about uh, what do you got going on there. What's in the super pot? The braise. Oh yeah, I see a tortilla in there. Yeah, I don't know why I put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, Griffin Cat says, "Don't eat the ingredients." He shared them. Griffin Cat. All right, Ted, come give a fortune ingredient that's going to help out the Purple Squad because that right. seems to be the case. So, uh, Green Squad, mm -hmm. they voted you some thyme. Ooh, Ooh, beautiful. And some green beans. Ooh, French awesome. style. This is Ooh, the fancy baby. kind. Fancy. <laughs> and then uh, they gave you cranberries, which everybody knows is essential ingredients for Mexican cuisine, <laughs> yeah. such as tortillas. Yeah. So they had to be in this. Yep. Can you open that for me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> Wait, you're supposed to be here for that. that is, you're, you have use of both hands now. Also, this is whole berry cranberry right, sauce, so that's fun. No, <laughs> I got to go talk to the judges. We're going to get some scores. Uh, judges, I'm on my way. I'm sauntering over. I'm going to do the saunter. I'm going to do, do the keep on truck and saunter. Uh, <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Does anybody That's... ever tell you you look like you could teach youth karate? No. <laughs> youth karate. <laughs> with my, with my, yeah. I'm built like a Simpsons character. I hide it well. <laughs> youth karate. No. Nobody over the age of 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That one's new. Talk to me about those bacon dishes. Oh man. Some of the tastiest dishes Some of the dishes that we've had tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You guys were that talking about how the black beans were so no, good. This it's was just great. Oh, the bacon, it could have been just because there was bacon. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. hard to fuck that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've not been on the yeah. show before. <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, yeah, that was good. I cleared a plate again. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good. And I thought, uh, Zach, you'd, you know, you'd paid homage to the Asian world very nicely with the Hello Pandas. I was worried about it for a second, but I thought I thought you did it justice. Really? Yeah, yeah they were incorporated we... really well yeah. with wow. the raspberry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was good. Wow. that's And it wasn't lazy. You know, he, lazy. he didn't yeah, just put them yeah. on the side. Nope. You you really utilized He's a man it. who uses his hands. He, he does. Yeah, 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 he really got in there with it. What about uh, Chef David's uh, like, succotash? His... Succotash. Still the tastiest thing i That was I've good. That was really, really good. Really? Ooh. That, I'm, yeah. I'm excited. Awesome. And then I like the, like, painter, the explanation of the slop. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I yeah, feel sort of, like I learned something today. He sort of Jackson Pollock did. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, Jackson Pollock, just we can see it up on the screen. Jackson Pollock. That's our guy. Yeah, I know. I know my stuff. I'm smarter than I look. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get the scores up right now. We've got 13 minutes left for this next dish, mini tortillas, which seems pretty exciting. And we're going to get Mike this. is not your average middle-aged youth karate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. wow. He's read a few books. That was a close <laughs> score. I have questions. This is a very close scoring oh, time this time. All right. Ninja scoring. Squad, this round, got 43 points. Pirate Squad got 45 points. However, they, they, they got there, uh, but they would have had more. I see there's a negative five points from Jesse. Jesse, what was the penalty oh. in the Pirates Club? I, I didn't taste any horseradish. Really? You didn't, didn't taste, taste any, any horseradish? horseradish. Okay. Um, but I, I love the dish. It was in the sauce. Okay. Could have been yeah. more. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't like horseradish. I like that I didn't taste it, but you know, I got it. I, <laughs> I felt like I tasted a little, like it yeah. added you something got... without it being overpowering. Ooh, okay. Was it yeah. a forced ingredient? Yeah, it was. The horseradish was, yeah. was forced. Yeah, yeah. I like so. I like that it was layered in so well. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Covered up yeah. in, uh, you think it should be at the forefront, though? You know, I think I think what uh, Zach was doing by putting the the pandas right up there, I like that was that was brave, and um, and I respect that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that is a, this is Alyssa's okay. not a fan of bravery. I'm not. Or, I hate. Or I don't believe in bravery. <laughs> no. But that was she doesn't like courage, bravery, or chivalry. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a whole. This is a podcast waiting to happen. I, I'm like, <laughs> No, I think like, I like that they layered it in. I, that's what okay. I want. Did you, if you taste get a it though? Did you taste it though? I knew like, it was there. I knew, knew it, it was there. I felt here's it. The, I felt how you know it in but my heart. Had... You feel it in your throat. You feel right, it in yeah. the back of your throat. Like I a, like that like it was chimney. enough to like be like, oh, this dish is a little spicy. We're gonna, but I was like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're no, this is great. We're gonna deep dive into this after on the next part of the show when we all sit down and talk about it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get the bottom of this. I want. I have questions about this as well. Thank you guys. We're gonna check in with you guys just a little bit here. Man, that was that was good. That was good. Mike should lose this round. Why am I gonna lose a round, Kevin? <laughs> I can't lose. Uh, all right, f scores right now: 134 to the Pirate Squad, 129 to the Ninja Squad. This is still a very close game. Uh, we're on dish number four, which is great. Mini tortillas. We have one dish left, and that's gonna be that uh, those beef, those pork ribs. I keep saying beef ribs. I'm just I'm in the mood for beef. Talk to me right now. <laughs> Let's go over here and talk to Chef David. Chef David, yeah. this, these whole cranberries. What's, it's what's, a cranberry sauce. It's a cranberry sauce. All right. Throwback to Thanksgiving. So, yep. I think these are from Thanksgiving. We're uh, gearing up for next year. Yeah. Talk to me. How are you going to incorporate this with the mini tortillas? What is your plan with the mini tortillas? I'm assuming they're they're in here right now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe staying warm. Maybe Touch staying warm. warm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Huh. Uh, Maybe. I'm going to make a little sauce with that. All right. And so I'm going to make a little sweet heat kind of thing with that. And the horseradish is going to return. Okay. Uh, as per request. <laughs> How is it a request? I'm not asking for more. Even even Judge Jesse said he doesn't like horseradish. Uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't use it. Yeah. Okay. It's not a forced not ingredient. Never mind. Um, and so <laughs> I am going to make a little salsa sauce thing with it. Okay. And I hope it works out. Great. Best. Well, you got 10 minutes left. Thank you. Uh, I'm going over here checking with Chef Zach. Chef Zach, what? <laughs> Shit. What is? <laughs> what? <laughs> You and that raspberry preserves the star. Hey man, I'm making the, it do work. It is the star of your of all of your dishes tonight. Apparently. What is happening right now? So. <laughs> it's, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Melissa or Judge Alyssa has like the best look on her face right now. It's so good. <laughs> she looked so she looked over here and like she looked like, oh God, I have to eat this. It's <laughs> What is going on over here? So you mentioned a really terrible idea. Uh, yeah, I and did. And every time somebody near me does that, I usually end up making it. <laughs> this is not on me. I am making deep fried coffee. Your, it's bad. You, all right? Deep fried it's coffee. coffee. Okay. Didn't work. So yeah. you said something about kind of a maple syrup esh taco, and I was like, Wait. no, I said nerd quesadilla. <laughs> hey, that's also good. At enough. no point did I say maple syrup taco. Hey, well, that's where my brain went. <laughs> so guess what, buddy? That's what we're doing. <laughs> We've got quesadillas, but we're going to go more dessert on oh, okay. oh, A dessert quesadilla. We've had that on the show before, though, nice. so that's great. So there we go. Judges, I'm sorry. Uh, here, Ted, save us. Oh, I'm here. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, all right, so we've got, for the Purple Squad, they gave you some lemon pepper. So they're Thanks. just throwing the lemon pepper at you. <laughs> yeah. uh, and the sabotage is solid theft. Great. Uh, so, Chef David, that means well, you get to steal one solid ingredient from Chef Zach. Looks like he's got mushrooms, uh, green beans, some multigrain crackers, I believe, uh, some Hello Pandas. You want some pandas? You want some nerds? Uh, or the lime. I'm tempted. Uh, what uh, about the tortilla shells? Those are those are the featured ingredients. Ah, I just had to try. <laughs> that was <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, the weird thing, here's the weird thing. Production didn't say no. <laughs> no just, okay. <laughs> Can I? I don't. I don't think. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> we all heard it. No. <laughs> that echoed through the studio, everybody. <laughs> I don't know. So shiver when he said no. <laughs> so good. Still he also was a dad. That's why mushrooms. he also did the dad. All right, mushrooms, mushrooms are yours. Mushies. You get a bunch of stems too. Enjoy. I it's need fine. those stems. <laughs> what? Ah. Uh. 
Uh, right. Okay. So uh, you guys are wondering. You may see every time Ted comes back with a sabotage, I get I, like I sneak down to look at my phone because I have we have a lot of sabotages, so they're on they're on they're on a note on my phone. I'll memorize them eventually. But if you want to know what these sabotages are, you can actually go check it out in our Discord. We do have a Discord section there. Our Discord uh, is is in there, and in one of the channels, I can't remember which one. I think it's General for the uh, Squad Says uh, channel. You can find all the sabotages and a list of all the sabotages there. Um, Maybe we'll just make a sabotage channel. We can do that. It's Discord. <laughs> We've got suggestions. Uh, so yeah, that's what's happening there. So join the Discord. You can chat with us. I was in there today talking about how I slept till two o'clock this afternoon. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. I was, what time did you go to bed? Uh, it was like three. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> I'm not even waiting for you to give me the signal no, this I, time. No, <laughs> the I'm signal not. is me longingly looking. You're the at host you. now. You've got to, You got responsibilities. I'm All right. So like you've got you. for your dessert <laughs> talk. Goes here. You've got uh, I love that cream thing. cheese. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Here's this hand mixer. Okay. You can do this with it. It's fun. Uh, and then the last thing here, you've got the sabotage, which is minimize heat. Great. Uh, that means you lose all your heat, and you're going to use the mini maker. Oh, uh, let me go grab that. Is this forced? Oh, or it's just one. Optional. Oh, it's just one heat source. Uh, that is optional. You, Chef Zach, get to choose whether he loses his back burner or his super pot. Let's do the back burner. You have Thanks. lost that back burner. I'm going to replace that with the mini maker. Let's get What is the mini maker? Oh, it's it is our favorite. <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> I just want to give it a hug. It's it's adorable, isn't it? It's like our favorite thing right now. Look at this. There it is. It fits the tortillas perfectly almost. <laughs> How do you turn it on? It just plugs in and turns on. Uh, uh, your boy, Chef Aaron, uh, actually made bis quick biscuits <laughs> with that not? thing once. That's gangster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's gangster. Can you put that over there? Uh, what, do you, what am I doing with out this? Out of my area. Just out of the area. Great. This is, this is what I'm reduced to in this show. Love you. Uh, Dick says, not the back burner. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Anyone says, dessert tacos here? Yeah, yeah, these are these are a thing that's happening, Ms. Master Andy Wan. Welcome to Squad Says 2019. We got dessert tacos. Uh, <laughs> Judge Alyssa, talk to me. What is? It just looks like a plate of candy. <laughs> that's gold. Oh, okay. there's, there's a lime. Okay. There's a bed of fruit on there. There's a, well, here's the best part. We don't even have the scoring categories yet. Oh uh, yeah. You might get screwed in the next couple minutes. <laughs> And it might be like scoring category, savory. <laughs> right? oh. Scoring category, does this make a good dinner? <laughs> so who knows what's about to happen. Are you done? Yeah. You have five minutes left. Cool, I'm going to have a smoke though. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> All right, so we have, for the Purple Squad. What up? Uh, Talk what? to me, Goose. Oh, for the Purple Squad, get some uh, Ritz crackers. Cool. And so some oh chili powder, not cayenne. Okay. And then lastly, scoring category. Yes, here we go. Is creativity. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So score one for the green team there. <laughs> Getting lucky. I'll be back in a second with the next one. Uh, rent fences, don't do it, Zach. Uh, too late. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Jesus. <laughs> what? Jesus rules. I don't know. I don't know what's happening in chat right now. Uh, is it me or is that getting screwed with ingredients? Uh, Rabidovsky, this is the thing, is he's not getting screwed by the ingredients, he's getting screwed by the squad. Because the squad's the one voting, and if you are on the purple squad, you don't get to see those votes. Uh, or you get to see the votes, you just can't vote. So you want to join in, you want to join the squad, and then you can also help screw your friends. Because <laughs> that's, that's, that's the theme tonight. That's the theme tonight. <laughs> screw your friends. Smell this. Uh, it's nice, right? Not, I'm not. No, I'm good. Uh, pirate, not purple. Thank you, Dick Sweat. I'm sorry, the Pirate Squad. You can join uh, the Pirate Squad. There's, they're, they're a lot more angrier now that they've lost purple and green squads. Now they're, now they're, they're sticking to their they're guns. They're vengeful. They're vengeful. We're pirates. You have so many crackers. <laughs> I do. <laughs> are you, are you going to use these crackers? Um, <laughs> are you Salt Bay right now? Salt Bay. <laughs> Cuman Bay. Cuman Bay. All right, what do you got going on over there? So taste this. This is the cranberry sauce mixed with a little soy sauce to make a glaze for the um, steelhead trout that we're going to have some fish Ooh. tacos. Yeah, that's actually, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, yeah, so you've got that sauce. What's the plan yeah. now? Um, <clears throat> so I incorporated the cranberry sauce in there as the forced ingredient. 
And now I'm going to make a salsa to go on top. You're going to make a salsa by opening it? By, no, I'm going to jazz it up. <laughs> okay, you're going to jazz it up. Great. All right. Uh, here we go. Here comes Ted. Watch out for the pickles. No, no, no. no. I'm, uh, not, I'm not dropping the pickles again. The pickles. The pickles. Famous last um, words. Green Squad yeah. decided to give you what's called sweet cherry points. peppers. Never had these before. Mama Lil's? Yeah. Oh, sweet other oh, that's Oh, yeah. And the oh, scoring yes. category. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh. Funkadelic. Funkadelic, <laughs> wow. Funkadelic. Wow. So, uh, with more nerds. <laughs> somebody got lucky here today. What does that even yeah. mean? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean. Uh, that was the squad's vote. Uh, Javier Fred just is resubscribed, which is three months in a row. Nice. That means you get the new sub badge. Boom. You got, you got that. Look at your little egg in the frying pan. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Jav, Jav, Javier Fred. Uh, welcome back. Good to see you again. Look at that. That's our first three month, I think. That's awesome. Uh, you, you can see and you can see the the different uh, emotes right there in the chat right there. You see that Kevin Puck has just a boring old frying pan, and Javier Fred now has an egg in his frying pan. So there you go. Uh, you want a plate? Bowl, please. That's all you got left, Love basically. You. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, what did you get? Sweet, sweet cherry peppers. You got Great. Cherry peppers. Go. Um, let's talk to the judges. You guys have a minute. Uh, just under a minute and a half. We're going to talk to the judges real fast. Judges, quickly talk to me. Uh, creativity Funkadelic. <laughs> One plate is definitely Funkadelic. Yeah, so Funkadelic, like, is it, is it like visual induced? That is up to you. Is Are we it, supposed to hallucinate when is we it something eat? You, if, you, if, you, if that's what Funkadelic means to you. If it's something that has a nice texture to it, something that might Funky? be interesting as a texture. Because you, sometimes you want to feel things. Yeah. Um, and creativity, you know, as long as you something that you utilize both of your cortexes for. All right. Oh, look at Chef over there trying to get that creativity. Uh, uh, trying to get the creativity. Yeah, creativity. All right. Here, here comes Ted. All right. Whoa, that's a lot of knives. With the last 30 seconds here, uh, you got a medium nonstick pan, you got teriyaki sauce, and what knife do you want? Ooh, you got to choose a knife. Cleaver. Cleaver? All right. <laughs> okay. There we go. Thank we, you. We go way back. We go way back. All right. I'm gonna go, We're friends. I'm going to put this here. Uh, I'm going to put that knot on there. Uh, all right, chefs, you have 15 seconds left to plate. Uh, count it down with me, everybody. Oh, hang on. Voting is paused. All right. Until this dish is served. That's right. There's no more voting. And then we're going to come back with Excuse the me. final <laughs> dish of the night. And that's going to be the, uh, be the pork ribs. Three, two, one. I would not worry about this over here. Go ahead and take your place over there. You were already done minutes ago. So now you're going to have enjoy them cold ass nerd tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we have a little mini fish taco creatively served on the bottom of a bowl. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so the fourth ingredient, the cranberry sauce, is made into a glaze on top of the fish and in with the salsa as well. So hopefully you get some of the kind of bitterness and sweetness that it offers. Uh, and then we have a little kind of um, cumin and chili scented uh, steelhead trout to go along with it. Awesome. Hey, yes. David, has anybody told you you look like um, oh, you look like an Icelandic strongman on his day off? <laughs> <laughs> He's taking more than a day off. I know. I, I work out this area mostly. <laughs> Trying to do all my crunches. <laughs> All right, who's ready for dessert in the middle of and the day? And definitely feel free to, sorry, to no. fold it over like a taco and go. Middle yeah. of the day, it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> Whatever, I woke up at 3. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, who wants dessert? Because I made you dessert. Oh, yeah. mm. We've got tortillas, <laughs> except we're going on the sweet route. we got the raspberry preserves. The, we got the maple syrup. We've got a little bit of the orange soda in there. Get some citrus going on. If you want to <laughs> squeeze the lime over it, because they are tacos, you've got a lime to squeeze over it. Nerds, we're going to go kind of psychedelic, probably because of a sugar high, but you're going to be just fine. If you go into a diabetic shock, let me know. My car's outside. All right? Now, now, Zach, like now Zach, has anybody ever told you you look, you look like um, an ice road trucker and became a stay-at-home dad? <laughs> I don't want to be a dad. I'm already an uncle to four cats. I don't have time. <laughs> Uh, <sighs> you good? Matt? So I'm good. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we have the final 20 minutes. For, yeah, crack it open. We got, we got time. Uh, I need pork, this to de-stress. Pork ribs. Uh, <laughs> Mr. A Master Andy Wan, just, just hardcore, just ragging on you right now, saying what? that you're riding the green squad's coattails with the upside-down plating. 
I thought it was up. a good idea, and, and you know, I try to be uh, always in a dynamic situation. So if I see something that works, I roll with it. There you go. All right, uh, <laughs> chefs. Twenty minutes. Pork ribs. Are you ready? We're already yeah. going. They're already going. All right. In that case, let's get that countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> Squad says cook. Oh man, here we go. All right. So you've been. These have been marinating for quite some time now. Yes. They're How also comes, braising. They're also braising. Uh, well, they were. They're they just were. Now. Okay. now they're marinating. Again. Why do you have two different? Two different. That's how I roll. That's how you roll. You're gonna yeah. do. Come on. Pork ribs two ways. Come on, Mike. All right. I thought you knew this. That's okay. I'm just making sure. Uh, over here, very different coloration on these pork ribs. Mm. <laughs> Mine got cooked in beer. Oh, that nice. beer from earlier. It's been chilling in that low and slow. Great. We're gonna sear them off. Uh, so here's the thing we've talked about right now. Uh, we've talked about it on the show before. Cooking in beer is really difficult because a lot of people at the like will always throw beer in at the very end of their stuff, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh, I got a beer. Let's throw it in at the very end." And all you taste is the beer. Right. You said you've been cooking this for quite some time. How long have they been sitting in that beer? Uh, since about midway through the first dish. Great. So that means the beer is seeped in by this point, and it it's gonna. Uh, that's all right. Well, that's very exciting. Uh, gosh, Dad, Dick Sweat, 69s. Come on, Mike. What I do? I just. <laughs> Oh, right. Come on. Be because of this guy right here and not right. remembering that he does things. Uh, remember, guys, if you are new here, welcome to Squad Says Serve. This is the only interactive cooking show on Twitch where you control literally everything, as you've plainly seen uh, by some of these crazy dishes we got going on right now. Uh, make sure you hit the oh. follow button to know when we go live. We are live every Tuesday uh, oh, at no. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dick Sweat's sassing me right now in chat. You leave me alone, Dick Sweat. <laughs> Phrases we say in 2019. <laughs> uh, marvelous, I hope you know that. Winnie is very upset. You don't consider him your nephew. Uh-oh. Oh, that's my sister. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. You got family in the chat? I got family Ooh. in the chat. I got friends from all over the country. In Look the at chat. that. I got, all right. Uh, if there's anybody that says they're from Kanagawa, that's also one of mine. <clears throat> so... <laughs> so, uh, Green Squad, you see, those uh, voted for some things. Hey, David. Hi. Do you remember when your pork had white chocolate chips in it? I'm having flashbacks. Yeah. So, that's your forced ingredient oh, this time no. around. Oh, Enjoy oh, that oh. flashback. Praise okay. God. They gave you uh, traditional basil pesto. Oh, kick ass. And garbanzo right. beans. Oh, wow. kick ass. But enjoy that, uh, that sweat lodge oh. again there. Oh, All oh right. God. So, for the those of you <laughs> that have been around for quite some time, back in our, back in 2018, back when, when we were still fresh out the box and we were still brand new out of the shrink wrap, we just started. <laughs> Poor, poor baby chef David over here. Baby chef David. <laughs> he was, you were a youngin'. You were just a youngin'. Uh, yeah, I took a grasshopper. Had to cook. <laughs> and at the last minute, had to add white chocolate chips to this pork dish, which essentially tanked his dish. Mm. The judges said it tasted like a sweat lodge <laughs> because of the mixture of white chocolate chips and pork. Oh. He now has to put white chocolate chips in his pork dish. This is like, this is, this is harsh. What, what is, what, this is harsh. Tell me what you got going on right now. Uh, I'm going to put the braise back on the heat. Okay. Let it get nice and tender. All right. You're going to incorporate some of these chocolate chips in there? Yeah, they're in there. They're in there already. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is you've got sort of that tomato sauce. Yeah. Right? Um, maybe you can go maybe like a mole style and get a little bit. I don't know how yeah. it's work with the white chocolate. but I think you know. that was, yeah. That That's was what my you thought tried to last do last time. time. <laughs> it didn't, <laughs> it didn't work. work. Shit, you're right. <laughs> All right, well. You do care. I do care. <laughs> I remember. I was there. I'm trying to sabotage it again. Oh, man. All right. Wow, you're, uh, Chef Zach, your your squad, it did a good thing there. They are hooking me up with some of the best stuff. Let's talk about the white chocolate. How devastating is that? Force that's, degree it has to be in this dish. Oh, that's so brutal. That's I can't stupid. even imagine how you're going to pull it off. I'm really excited. With to, tears. Yeah. Right. <laughs> We're I'm gonna, excited to see how it turns out, though. All right, well, we're going to see uh, how this works. We're going to see what you get. All right. Oh, oh. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Stop laughing. Stop laughing, all right? No, no, no judges are nothing funny. There There's nothing, nothing funny that's funny. going on here. Uh, the purple squad, you get Italian seasoning. Ooh. They also gave you this large stock pot. Christ. Right. You have, you have <laughs> Keep a that. You want me to take it back with me? Oh, uh, they're giving you Capping Crunch Berries. Um, 
which I've sort of been snacking on. That's fine. Because they're really good. I'll trade here, dude. I'll trade you. Oh, you want to? Oh. No, you have the nerds back. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> it's good. Thanks. I'm jealous right now. Mm. Love you. Thank All right. You. What has this turned into? <laughs> Sugar high, but I yeah. like it. This is where we're at. Okay. They're not the worst. No. Uh, I mean, I love crunch berries. Crunch berries are the best. But I'm saying, that's a sabotage. It's a forced ingredient. Not the worst. No, they're not the worst. They're definitely weird. They are. What's your plan? Uh, I'm currently thinking about crushing up at least the yellow pieces, so okay. I can kind of at least the corn yeah, aspect yeah, yeah, of it. Yeah. I already have polenta. Yeah. If I can mix those two together, I can use that as my starch for my dish tonight. Mm. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, again, you guys can see if you're not, if, 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 if the chat's not coming through right now. Uh, if you're having latency issues, make sure you just lower the quality. Uh, but I want to give this a shout out to BJ Cobbledick, who says the quality of the stream is just way too high. So <laughs> that's true. This, this quality, which is way too quality. Uh, Forever Classic. Nerds would be weird to cook with or super hard, and that tanginess would be hard to balance. Um, you know what? Speaking of which, let's go find out right now. The scores are in. Let's go ahead and let's talk to them about that. Forever Classic, also, good to see you. Welcome. Saunter over here. Here I come with sauntering. <laughs> here we come with sauntering. That's the new Christmas carol. Talk to me. Hi, guys. How? <laughs> Whoa, hang on. This was, this was everything I could have hoped for and more of that reaction. Yeah. Talk to me about that. That was bad. Yeah? <laughs> the funk it was funkadelic. It was creative. It was just all sugar. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, yeah. he rode that sweet train. And if I have to train. eat that raspberry sauce one more time. <laughs> he, he, he's already, he's got, he's already in the back there. You okay. can see he's put it aside mm -hmm. for now. For yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, it's just unfortunate. I mean, nerds is really, that's a, that's a good sabotage. Yeah. That's a really good sabotage. Because nerds have um, not only, they're not just sweet, they're tangy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, sour. Yeah, the Forever Classic, just, he just said that in the chat. He was like, it'd be really hard because of the hardness and the tanginess. Yeah. I yeah, wish they were a bit of reduced. Oh, yeah. Could have reduced them. Yeah. Could reduced. Yeah, we, did, we had somebody once cook with Pop Rocks, and they reduced mm. it into a Pop Rock sauce. Oh, it was really neat. Uh, all right, well, what about the, the other dish there, the, uh, the salmon, the fish taco? Oh, uh, that, that was tasty and just classically a, a kind of a safe choice, but it's very good. It felt safe. It tasted like kind of a lot safe. of the, what we've gotten already. Yeah. Well, that's the them. thing is that they've got a sort of a stock number of ingredients, and because, as you guys can see, very small amounts of ingredients coming out, so right. they're, they're, they're holding on to what they've got <laughs> to continue to use but them. But I feel like every dish has been different. Yeah. Um, like, for David? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's been different. Okay. Like with the nerds, even like even with the raspberry sauce, each one has been different. Oh, so, oh, so Zach. So Zach, yeah. Zach's was, um, everyone was Zach's like. Was different. But you yeah. feel Chef David sort of going to do the same thing with every dish. Well, the last three that came Ooh, out were okay. all very, like, mm. they started to all feel similar to me. You can see, like, you can see, I can see beans, banana, peppers, yeah. beans and bacon. Yeah, and then. Beans and bacon. Yeah, yeah then kind of like, mm. the okay. last But in my defense, thing. they gave me three kinds of beans. And then That's he did get lots of, yeah, he's the bean king right now. All right, let's go ahead hey, and Hey, we're just here it. to judge. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> isn't that, I mean, yeah, isn't that what you do on the podcast? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. so judged right now. Yeah, All right, the scores for that round, here we we go 38 points to the pirate squad ninja wow. squad 30 points it's kind of a deficit also ninja squad lost five points Alyssa, talk to me why the penalty it was the nerds the i nerds. wanted them a little bit more f folded in i actually love nerds it's one of my favorite candies want but i wanted more? a little yeah. more i mean you had like three minutes left at the end i don't know what you can do in three minutes but <laughs> i was like maybe so you you would give a penalty because you were not impressed with how we incorporated the nerds you exactly. just threw them on with the sauce mm -hmm. and, all right okay yeah okay uh Taste across, the, wow, taste, let's look at this, taste. Pirate Squad got a seven and a 10, and Ninja Squad got a two and a one. Ouch. Uh, yeah, man, it didn't taste good. <laughs> it was really I'm bad. Shocked. We, we, it was, it was we really understand. Bad. It was one of the worst things I've tasted. I took a bite, and um, I was like, it was, and it's not even your fault. <laughs> it's not even your, your fault. fault. Yeah, you've been dealt a hand. Um, yeah, yeah. You can see right now the only thing that actually made this a close round was the fact that the scoring categories helped you out so much. Uh, very fun. Squad, very so. fun. Very funkadelic. Great. Thank you guys so much. We have one last dish. Pork ribs, you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Turn it. We're gonna end on a high note. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> I promise. We have ten minutes left. Uh, no beans in the last dish. No beans in the last <laughs> dish right now. What do you got going on in the back over there? Uh, caramelizing some onions. Ooh, all right. Try not to burn them. Yeah, please don't. That'd be. It's not delicious. <laughs> Great. Great right now. Uh, pirates are murdering right now. Test friends. We score 172 to 158. 
Pirates are stealing the lead. That's that's what happens. That's what happens. Chat, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Remember, we are. Uh, let's go. You can talk to us over on Discord here in the chat. We are here every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Zach, what do you got going on over here? Well, I had to create a mortar and pestle, and this is what I have. Thanks for the spicy peppers. The glass jar is actually proving potentially more helpful than the peppers are. What did you? What were you? What were you mortar and pestling? Well, you remember those Captain Crunch? How that yeah. Be a lot more full. Yeah. That's yeah, it's not anymore. Gangster. Oh, no. <laughs> gangster. I'm there impressed. we go. All right. We'll see if this pans out. All right. I mean, you're making some good work in there. Yeah, it's kind of working. There you go. I'm sure production has love in the sound of that oh, super that loud crunch so right good. now. Oh, that sounds so good. Get down there. <laughs> let's let's both get closer <laughs> as we make this crunch. <laughs> make just the ear vomit that is that sound. Oh, man. Uh, Forever Classic saying, uh, I agree with the cookware sabotage. You can use sweetness and pork ribs pretty easily. Uh, we don't even have the sabotage yet, but there's being voted on right now. I can see Ted's getting some sabotage ready to go. This is exciting. Don't look over there. Why is he looking yeah. at me with that uh, evil because, look? Because, <laughs> I'm a little scared right now. Yeah, I, you know what? Whenever Ted looks at me that way, I get scared and, uh, as well. Kind of pee a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there you go. There you go. Oh, my goodness. The gangster. The cookware advantage. Wow, there's uh, chat. I love you guys. And like what's happening. Make sure you guys are following the channel. Like I said, immediately after this, we're going to sit down and we're going to talk with everybody, uh, including Ted. We're going to bring him back out. And we're going to talk about the... Uh, the show, the different dishes, because we, we have a lot to talk about that horseradish. We're going to talk about that horseradish, and uh, clearly the judges have very different opinions on how that feature, that force ingredient needed to be in uh, that dish, and I would love to get more and, and deeper dive into that, uh, which is going to be great. Uh, Rent fences. Pork is one of my favorites. You can go with so many different directions, as you can see they have, which is great. Uh, you know, it's, or, Kevin Puck says, you know what works with pork? White freaking chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> That is true. Uh, we got Ted coming out here with the sabotage. Oh, Sa sabotage. Sabot Sorry, I was just um, busy snacking on wasabi peas mixed with some uh, nerds. Great. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ted, do you good. think there's like a three-hour period in your life where you don't snack on something? No. Yes. All right. So you get margarine. <laughs> that's what Green Squad voted for you for the purple or for the purple squad. Their sabotage is minimized cookware. The purple. So you get the mini skillet. Right. And I believe that's just one of your. There we go. Yep. Yeah, let's take that out of there. Let's Thanks. put that boy there in there. You got there the mini, the mini maker, the mini skillet. Look at that. That's a, so adorable. Fancy twirl. It's a, the fancy twirl. All right. What's your plan? You get the mini skillet. First, I'm gonna clean this guy. I mean, Is it not that clean? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> A little extra flavor. See what happens when we move to 7 p.m. and Sarah just takes off. Start she's got to take, She got to take care of kids oh. and all that. And we <laughs> doesn't clean everything. How could you? Sarah, we miss you. We miss you. We miss Come you. Back. Okay. Yeah. Bring the kids. Bring the kids. Bring the kids. We got Dick oh, Sweat says you gotta clean the tools. Gotta That's clean true. the tools, please. Uh, thank you for that uh, follow there, Forever Classic. Uh, it's a host. Thank you for the host, uh, is what I meant to say. You're just chilling. Yeah, I am uh, just <laughs> chilling. <laughs> what? You, you have seven and a half minutes left. I'm deep in meditation right now. <laughs> You were deep in meditation. Great. This is a this is adorable. Can we get a shot there uh, of, the, of the like the That's three? Cute. That is That's so cute. <laughs> Look at that, right there. That's I adorable. Just you guys will see it on the on the camera there. Hopefully, get a shot of the cute little uh, the beef ribs on uh, the pork Aww. ribs sitting there. Oh. Uh, the, the pirate cats. They lost the back burner in the last dish. That's what they they lost the back burner so they can use the uh, the mini maker. And so now that they got it back now. Uh, over here, Chef Zach. Yes, sir. Talk to me. What do you got going on? See some crispy bacon. We're gonna do a crispy bacon and green and French style green beans with Ooh. some of the spicy peppers incorporated. Okay. I've got the the pork is braised. I just need to brown it off. I'm kind of waiting until we get a little bit closer, so I'm not plating stuff 15 minutes before we're done. Huh. Doesn't work if I'm not serving nerds, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. We can get we can bring those back out if you need them. I, still, no, I think I'm they're okay. Still, they're still technically. How about the raspberry sauce? Oh, no, the raspberry that. sauce is dead. Also, you guys got me like margarine. I don't know what that's for. I'm not old enough to use that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just straight in the back along with the black bean mix that you'd never have to taste again, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I had a I had a question and I lost it. That's great. You're so, welcome. That's fine. <laughs> but Ted's gonna come over here. Oh no. This is uh, so you both got some minimizing things here. So uh, jasmine rice is what Purple Squad gets in addition to use of that oven. <laughs> go ahead and Did you get the... preheat that with five minutes to go. Sure, yeah. And uh, your sabotage yeah. is minimize utensil. So go ahead and give up that spoon here. All right. There you go. 
Oh, oh yeah. That's, that's great. That doesn't look that's too, cute. That's, that's so, so good. Cute. So that doesn't look too terrible. It's, it's not is the it, worst. It's, it's not the tiny. best. My two-year-old has this. Has the same. <laughs> I think this is my two-year-old's. <laughs> Are we stealing I, stuff from your house? I think so. I think he brought it here. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Yeah. <laughs> Did we steal your Hello Pandas too? No. Okay. Hello sure. <laughs> <laughs> production, production. Steve is like texting my two-year-old. Oh, nice. I, we, guys, know we have the same taste in cookware or uh, utensilware <laughs> for our two-year-olds. Uh, all right. So you're gonna brown that meat. How long's that meat? I remember it was the meat. How long's it gonna take the meat to brown? Because you got just under five minutes left. Oh, it's gonna take a little bit less than that. Great. All right. Uh, awesome. Let's talk about <laughs> Kevin Puck says it's his. It's actually his. This, it's Kevin's because he's a two-year-old. Uh, judges. We're going to talk to the judges right now. We're going to talk about these minimizations, these, these sabotages, which aren't really that bad, to be quite honest. Yeah. Uh, I feel like both squads sort of let it read down. I was hoping last dish we'd see some crazy sabotages, but it's not really that, that much. Talk to me your thoughts on this. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if anything, now the cooking's just cuter. Yeah. Now the cooking. Yeah. Now the cooking is just cuter. Alyssa, says. Alyssa just is cuter. very pro pro small things. She's a big yeah. fan of cupcakes, macarons, and stuff right. like that. So she's a she's she's very for this. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, we're talking about the fourth ingredients here: the Captain Crunch from uh, the, over on the green side, uh, and then the uh, white the, the white chocolate over here. <laughs> That I look. hate You're white, so excited white chocolate that you disgusting. have white chocolate. You hate white chocolate. Uh -oh. it's, the most mis, it's the most misused name for a sweet. It tastes really? like trash. It tastes it like It's not yeah. actually chocolate. It's, it's just, not. It's, it's cocoa yeah, butter. Yeah, exactly. it's cocoa butter and like fat. It's gross. Okay. It's actually right. my um, email address from like 10 years ago. Cocoa yeah. butter and fat. <laughs> no, white chocolate. <laughs> no. White chocolate. Uh, <laughs> Ted's back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did I take off points for that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to add them. <laughs> so here's your uh, cast iron skillet Ooh, that they gave baby. you. With three yeah. minutes left. With three minutes left. I don't know what the hell they're going to do with it. <laughs> Pyrex me measuring glass. <laughs> sure. Three, three, minutes three minutes to go. Left. It's all random, everybody. And the scoring category. Here we go. Texture. Texture. So this is a Ooh. standard scoring category, Jeez. everybody. Wow. That is a good one. I can't believe we actually have one. <laughs> Hey, look, he's actually using the, the thing. I'm using it go. immediately. He's, look at that. You did it. Squad. Good job, squad. We got there. I needed this. We got there. All right. Uh, I was going to ask you what else you're going to use the skillet for, if anything. What is this? Uh, this is a polenta. Cooked it off in just a little bit of water because I was out of beer, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, cooked it off with some salt. There's just a little bit of allspice in there. There's some pepper. It's going to be really good. Uh, this is very creamy. So I've only experienced polenta at uh, Brazilian steakhouses. Yes. So I only ever get it in like a somewhat more firmer uh, presentation. This is it's very creamy. Is that the normal way to cook polenta? So you can actually do polenta soft or you can do it hard. If okay. you do it soft, it ends up kind of creamy like this. Yep. Also yeah. known as grits. Anybody from the south? Oh, Anybody yeah. from Tennessee? Yeah, there we go. Wait, are grits polenta? Grits are, are you... just polenta. Yeah. That's what? all they are. Grits yeah. and polenta are the mm -hmm. exact same thing. If that's, the, if that's the case, then I eat fucking polenta like this all the time because we right, cook grits exactly. on the normal yeah. in my house. Grits is just polenta. Holy crap. But call it polenta. It's usually served more savory. It's okay. got salt in it. You can put cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, pesto, all kinds of stuff. I do, I, do, pesto, I do a sweet grits. Speaking of pesto, shout out to my guys that got me some pesto. Oh, right yeah, what, what you got going on in that fondue pot? So I've got some pesto. I have a little bit of the cream cheese just because I didn't Ooh. have any like, Parmesan or anything. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Touch of the garlic powder in there just to kind of spike it up. So we're going to have that sauce as a glaze for the pork. And we've also got the green beans and bacon, a little bit of polenta for a starch. We're just going to build a whole actual plate here. That sounds delicious. All right, you have a minute and a half left. Uh, okay. David, a minute and a half left. What do you got going on over here? How, what is, um, what is, we just heard how he's going to present his dish, and he's doing like a, he's doing a full a full meal. What is your plan? I feel like I should have paid more attention there. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I could have stolen an idea. Um, <laughs> so I'm plating pork two ways. Uh, we braised it in a little tomato beer uh, vinegary kind of sauce thing going on. All right, yeah. And then we're going to serve it with a kind of medium pan seared pork cutlet. Okay. That looks pretty tasty. Thank you. <clears throat> That's like a tasty sauce. Now. All right, what do we got in the last? So the last one of the day, <laughs> red pepper flakes for you. Okay. That is cool. Uh, you've got Mail. Uh, a pan. So with uh, 45 seconds left, go ahead and use that guy. Yeah. And the scoring category is puts you to sleep. Puts you to sleep. Puts you to sleep. So if it's boring, however you interpret that. 
puts you to sleep. What was All the right. other category? Bye, see you later. Cameron, did we get the other category for this round? Yeah, texture. Did I, what was it? Texture. Texture, thank you. I was, <laughs> it's I, so normal you forgot. I, yeah, I was, oh, that's right, because even joke, we actually have one. Uh, great. Puts you to sleep in texture. Uh, we're going to come talk to you guys in a second. Uh, we have 15 seconds left. We're gonna get this. This is the last bit. This is the last dish. Make sure you guys are getting those plates happening right now. Plating is happening. We have just under 10 seconds left. You guys, here we go. Here, oh, I like what's going on over here with that texture. Here we go. Three, two, one. Chef, hands down. Starts and up and that. Take your plates. I will go take these over to the uh, the other table. All right, mail. Uh, so, put you to sleep. Put some rupees in there. <laughs> Stop. Oh, okay, white chocolate. Stop. How do you think I got that name? Stop. <laughs> My face is so red, right? Okay. Yeah. So we have a pan-seared um, pork shoulder. Um, it should be a nice kind of medium rare medium. So you can pork shoulder is a really tough kind of cut of meat. So you either have to go like nice and medium rare, okay. or braise it for a long period of time. So we did kind of both. We did the nice medium rare, and then on the bottom of that, we have some grilled onions with a braised pork shoulder and a kind of um, tangy tomato sauce that has white chocolate in it. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. You're not coming back this time, right? I can go in? Sorry. <laughs> I'll never do it again. All right. Oh, wow. So guys, we've got some creamy polenta. We've got some pork shoulder braised slowly in beer over a decent period of time, so it should be nice and tender inside. We've got a bacon and rosemary infused green bean. The pesto sauce itself does have a lot of garlic to it, so if you want that Ooh. nice bite of acidity, yeah. it's in there. If you need to mute that acidity, that's what the creamy polenta is there mm. for. <clears throat> Enjoy. Beautiful. All right, so chefs, go ahead and break down your stations. Grab yourself a drink. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna take a quick break, nothing crazy. We're going to set up for the next show, and then we're going to talk to these uh, chefs here about these dishes. We'll bring the judges back over, and then we're going to find out the winner of tonight's Squad Says Served. We'll be back in two minutes. See you guys in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Finger guns. All right, everybody. We are back. Welcome to the the end of Squad Says Serve. That was that was. <laughs> so listen already. She's already. I don't know if that was a sigh of relief or what. Uh, we're gonna do some quick intros again for maybe those of us that are just joining us or maybe have, have maybe joined us late and don't know who is who is what. Uh, I am the Mike Robles. I was I was your host. Hey, David Boyd here, personal chef with Down to Earth Cuisine, uh, satisfying all of your personal chef needs in the Seattle area. We do weekly meal prep, private dinners, and cooking classes. So if you have a special day coming up that you want to remember forever, forever, uh, words are hard, uh, visit us at www.downtoearthcuisine.com, also by the same tag on Instagram and Facebook. And you were a, today? A busy beaver. <laughs> chef, you were a chef. <laughs> you were a chef. I was a chef today. On which squad? On the Purple Pirates. The pirate, all right, yeah. there we go. Um, I'm Alyssa Yellman, a stand-up comedian, and I was a judge today. Jesse Warren, uh, software engineer, comedian. Um, I run a, a roast show called Socially Inept, where we oh, roast to the Seattle tech scene. So if you want to check nice. that out, um, catch us on Facebook. Judge. <laughs> All right. Judge. I'm Zach Marvelous. I was one of the cooks today. I lived in the Seattle area my whole life and been doing catering for over 30 years. Hey, I'm Ted's friends. I was Trolley Ted. Trolley Ted. Ted. <laughs> Go for Ted. Go for Ted. <laughs> go for Ted. All Can right. you go for this? Uh, here's the thing. We're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk to the, sh uh, we're gonna talk to the chefs, uh, specifically about each of these dishes real fast. Uh, starting with, uh, actually we're going to talk about this last dish. Let's talk about this last dish, the, the pork ribs. Mm -hmm. Talk to me, uh, either one of you can start out. What were your thoughts on, the, on cooking this with what you got? Two very different dishes. So for my pork ribs, early on I actually got a can of beer and I was graced enough to get a pot, so I was able to put the beer into the pot, and yes, that's right, my first job when I was four, I was reading the chat. Mm. Um, so I, my first, I got the pork in there, got it cut up into medallions, threw it in the beer and put it in low and slow, 
when I got the bacon, I threw that in there too, get a little bit of the smokiness and just let it sit over time, get it all seared off. I had some pesto that I could use. I had some cream cheese to reduce in there. Got some polenta, which included a little bit of Captain Crunch, just for a little bit of fun. And then some green beans and bacon, just going with some of the, the savory and creamy, delicious. All right, Chef David. Um, the last dish, I pan roasted some of the pork, little medallions there. Uh, the rest of it I braised um, over, you know, the entire period of the show when I had the heat source to do it. The other time it was just marinating. Um, served it with some caramelized onions, some grilled mushrooms, a uh, rich cracker for the texture element, <clears throat> and a little tomato sauce. Great. So normally what happens is we, we wait for the judges to finish writing their scores, <laughs> and then we hand the, the, the scores over, and then we invite them over and we say, all right, let's talk about this dish. And that usually takes a little while. Scoring's already done, which yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So judges, let's talk about this last and final dish, these pork ribs. Yeah, cool. Um, Zach, I thought that that was one of the coolest dishes tonight because it had three um, totally separate elements, and I thought that was really nice texturally. Each thing was very different. Uh, very tender, tender meat for a tough cut. Um, I thought that was one, uh, one of my favorites. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, I mean... After all the sugar I ate, I'm not sure if my palate was ready <laughs> uh, to appreciate pork. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that was a great dish. Both um, meant a little something. Both were different. Um, I actually felt like uh, that dish over there, mm -hmm. Chef Zach's, was kind of the put me to sleep. Yeah? Yeah, because of the portion size. Right, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, I would eat that and then I would like go to bed, you know? And what? Kind of That's it? I mean, <laughs> I would probably eat more, but I, okay. <laughs> but I mean, that was like, that was the biggest dish we had all night. That wasn't like all, you know, bougie or whatever. <laughs> the bougie. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, both were good. Yeah, let's, the let, pork was great. Let's yeah. talk about Chef David's dish. I love Chef David's dish. I think the texture thing was kind of last minute yeah, with the cracker on there. For sure. But um, I'm glad I couldn't taste the white chocolate, so... Yeah, I couldn't taste great. the white chocolate. It was it was good. Um, texturally, not quite as good as Zach's, as but also. Oh, really? A good I dish. thought that was monochromatic texturally. Whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Good. I'm just like, hey. that's, wow. That's a very synesthetic description. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, so here's what happened. Let's get both, uh, let's go ahead and get both chefs, guys, go ahead and join me right out here in the center um, here, one on each side. Uh, Ted, if you want to grab that belt. Huh? Yeah. So, or did you take your. <laughs> oh, I always do. Yeah, all right. We're going to get the scores right now. We're going to hear the scores because we don't have the screen up here. And one of you all are going to win this here belt to wear for the rest of the night because then we take it back because <laughs> right. we only have the one belt. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll also get a cool thing that you can hang up. As you can see, we got our, our hooks ready to go oh, to show you oh, which squad you. wins for this, uh, this hey, month. Hey, Mike, could I address this, this thing that people keep, keep asking yeah, me to hang, talk about? Yeah, all right, hang on. I used the spoon to eat my ribs on account I put my fork away. Oh. Oh. Uh, so people Always was... eats ribs with spoon. <laughs> we well, have four like forks. I put it away and I didn't want to be a, a burden. There's, all right, well there we go. There we go, all right. <laughs> we are ready for the scores. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and Chad is roasting you now. Throw Man. all the shade. We're trying to choose a winner here, guys. Give us a second. <laughs> We're roasting as soon as, we as soon as we declare the winner. All right, production, I am ready. I am ready to hear some scores. No, yep, there we go. All right, Purple Squad right there has the final score of 209. And Ninja Squad, 203. Oh, wow. so close. Wow. 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 Jeff David wow. right there. My heart Pirate was squad stepping. Right there. That means you also get your choice of which utensil you would like to hang up <laughs> right there. Ooh. Which, which, Oh, that's right. You get one of these two. Sorry. Wait, wait. <laughs> Don't worry about the hammer. Uh, which? Uh, this guy. Which Take it. This is it's back. yours. And you can go put that up on the is back Is that like there. spray painted? Don't worry about what it is. Don't Stop. use it. No, I saw it. Don't use it to cook. Stop. Yeah. Go ahead. Hang it up. Hang your hook up. Proud, senor. You did it. You earned it. Boom. Right here. Right Boom. Yeah. The first... The first show of 2019 on That's the awesome. first day of 2019. Wow, wow, Look at that camaraderie oh, right there. All right, we're now. Let's. All right, we're gonna take a minute to chill. Now we're gonna we're gonna sit. We're gonna talk about these dishes. The first thing I want to get out of the way right now. Let's talk about let's talk about scoring and penalizing, especially when it comes to the horseradish, because 
We got the, we had, we had very conflicting ideas of horseradish. Right. Mm. Yeah. So talk to me. You, you, you have thoughts and opinions, Alyssa. Well, yeah, I mean, I thought it was actually folded in. I didn't want a horseradish dish. No, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I just feel like if I cannot, um, if I, if I wouldn't be able to detect, because horseradish is very, you know when you have horseradish. If I didn't know there's horseradish in there. I have a sensitive palate. I felt the horseradish without it being overpowering. Yeah. Like, it added spice without okay. it being about okay. horseradish. So now. Whereas, like, the nerds were thrown on where it could have been folded in. <laughs> okay, but now let's talk about the white chocolate and the pork, because he had white chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jess said he couldn't taste it at all. You both of you said you guys couldn't taste it, but it was in there. Yeah, and I was I was happy with it. But did you score it in, in a way that was? I scored it the same as I did the horseradish. Cause okay, I, right. I, okay, you yeah. did it. I though. probably would, didn't because so. I was being more lenient on account of the backlash. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, all right. Okay. Uh, were there any dishes that you? Uh, what was the worst dish? We talked about the worst dish. Uh, oh, the <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> with the lime. No, I'm in there. <laughs> I'm in there right with you, Dan. Yeah. All right. So here's the thing right now. Chat, you guys at home watching uh, watching at home at work on at wherever you're at right now, this is your chance to go ahead and ask the judges or the chefs Stop eating any questions you want about what happened in the last, uh, the last couple hours right now. Stop this is eating. your time to go ahead. Uh, we've already asked Jesse about eating uh, ribs with a spoon. But if you guys have any questions <laughs> about anything, the sabotages, the forced ingredients, ingredients they enjoyed using, didn't like using, let us know. Also, those of you that have been with us for a while, what do you think of the new show format? Talk to us. Let us know your thoughts. Uh, we, we incorporate your feedback into the show, and we want to hear from you. Again, this is a show controlled by you, so we want to ensure that we're doing, that we're ensuring that you, we're doing you justice. We want to make sure that we're making you proud out there. Make us proud, kids. The Make nerds were the not. Nerds. The nerds were not cool. No. I don't know. They were, <laughs> they were a good hit. I thought they were tasty. They were awesome. Did you yeah, like on their own? Not in. No. You want Did to you rock try? This? Yeah. Try. Try. Yeah, take Ted, a bite. Do we know you eat everything. everything? Here's the thing. Yeah. You know you're going did to. Do you not have another you, fork? Do you know you, he did not? <laughs> Dick sweat. He did not. All right. Here we go. Fork. Here we go. Moment Can't believe I'm subjecting this to somebody else. I'm sorry, brother. Just do it. Just roll it up. You know you're going to. That was a big bite. That was a big boy bite. It's fine. Look at that. It's like, I don't see what's wrong with that. It's so good. That's really sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what they said. Oh, my You're God. You're supposed to squeeze a little bit of lime on there. The lime, oh, is the lime supposed it. to go on this? Yeah. Oh, hold on. It's not a garnish? <laughs> okay, hold on. I can't. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, well, I, I it's not, I'm not squeezing anything out of this thing. I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't you hate it. That's, you don't hate any food. Are you food. five? But, I mean, <laughs> that's, actually, that's the bar for this show, though. <laughs> the bar for the show is, do I hate it? No? All right, then we can score it. It it's works. It's fine. It works. That's if I go home and have a heart attack later from this, <laughs> just yeah. text me. Yeah. Let me know. All, uh, all the sugar. You Instant just, diabetes. Yeah, you just don't be able to sleep. I'm going to end up losing my foot due to this. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. I honestly got gout when I ate so much. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I want to talk specifically to the three of you. Uh, Which three? This is going down here. <laughs> Unless it's Jesse and Zach. Zach's seen the that show, never been down. on the show. You two have never seen the show, never yeah. been on the show. Oh. I've never seen the show or been on yeah. the show. <laughs> <laughs> One, would you come back? Two, did you have fun? Uh, yes and yes. I would come back. <laughs> yeah. now, once I got my like actual judge language down, like monochromatic, I would like to take us back to that moment. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, now I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. I feel like I can judge any food now. I thought this was super fun. Or when people. I walked in, you guys pitched the concept. I thought that this was super dope, super hip, hip take on uh, <laughs> hip, hip Just take keep on hip. food competition. <laughs> hip, hip's a good word. Yeah, yeah. 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 hip works. <laughs> and I think uh, I think I think Ted's great. I think Ted seems like somebody who spent a lot of time picking up women at Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, and, uh, you Mike, that you look like a street magician from Bellevue. <laughs> there you go. Hey. <laughs> Teaching karate yeah, <laughs> on the weekend. Yeah. Both of us are in a Magic committed doesn't... relationship with each other. So. That's, yeah. <laughs> and this show. This show's a once a week thing. This show's our booty call. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Our partners are fine with it. They yeah, know. They're fine. They know. No. They know. Uh, Chef Zach, Chef Marvelous, so. Chef Ian, talk to us. Yeah, right. So can the I just hit the, the chat for a the, second? Yeah, go ahead. The chat is confused as fuck about who you are. Zach's. <laughs> Zach's my middle name. It's what I go by in a lot of places. Um, I'm also known online as Talos Marvelous or Zach Marvelous. So because this is online, I went with that. Anybody that knows me as Ian, that's my first name. I'm transitioning off of that name, but if you know me as Ian, that's me too. So I have lots and lots of names. Wow. Oh, dynamic. I, I wish we had the, your lower thirds probably just something like Chef Ian, Chef Ian, Zach, Marvelous. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, 
It's just a news ticker that just keeps scrolling your name by. Uh, and at home, he's Dick Sweat 69. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like 68, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. Dick Sweat 69. All right, uh, yeah, we're going to go through the final score right now. Uh, we don't have it up on our teleprompter, their production, so if we can grab that, that'd be wonderful. But we're going to look at the final scores and see how, uh, how you guys scored this last dish. While we're waiting for that, uh, Chef Zach, you've seen the show. You actually got to be on it now. Yes. How, how was it for you? It's really awesome, but I haven't watched in a couple of weeks, so all the episodes that I watched, we're not doing that format anymore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'm friends with Silas, who's been on the show before, and I've known yeah. him. We worked for Lyft together for years nice. and years. So it's like he and I kind of knew each other. So seeing him on the show, I was like, oh, okay, I kind of know who this person is. Um, but yeah, watching it, it's a lot of fun, but being on it is just so different. Like, you think 20 minutes is a long time, and it's just not. It's really not. It flies not. past. Uh, not as daddy as Father Mike. Uh, you have to talk about the whole, the whole daddy thing. Here we go. Final scores. Uh, that dish five. There we go. 23 to 21. Uh, vote, or no, 23 and 21 voted. So it's a score of what? 44. Uh, from the Pirate Squad, uh, and 23 to 23, you scored 45 for the Ninja Squad. Wow, it's really close on that last uh, that last dish. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have the, the full thing there, but wow, look at that, straight down. This is actually a pretty close game the entire time. I think what really nailed it was the uh, the penalties. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, Zach came for blood in that last dish. You could tell when he was like, I'm doing polenta, I'm yeah. doing this. I'm doing <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I wow. nerd tacos, uh, yeah. my dude. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> way to go, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, that's true, but it's still, you're like busting it all out. I was like, he's not, it's not over yet, you know? Well, the nice yeah. thing is, 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 like he said, he started braising that beef like Four. 20 minutes the pork, sorry. <laughs> like everyone, Same thing. Pork, every, every time. <laughs> Ten minutes into the show, he was right. like, this, this, this last dish, because he knew it was going to take a long time and wanted the flavor to get in there. We've talked about before, we've had chefs come on the show, they get a beer in the last five or six minutes and are tempted to cook whatever their dish is in the beer, mm. and all you can taste is just warm beer. You taste yeah. warm protein with beer. Um, so it doesn't really work out that way. So Chef Zach had the had the the knowledge to start and do that. Uh, Chef Dave's been on the show a bunch. Mm -hmm. How many times have on the show? Five? I don't know. Six? Something 15? Like that. Something like that. 15. Yeah, yeah 15. 15. Wow. 15 shows. Uh, How many times have you won? You've won a lot. Yeah. You won. <laughs> white chocolate has won a lot. White chocolate. Yeah. Chef White Chocolate. Well, most of the times that you've been on, you've been on against other veteran chefs, Chef Aaron, mm. and you guys sort of have flip flopped you, yeah. and, as who's been winning each time. Yeah. yeah. Last time we were on, he tried to say he was undefeated. And he did. He stadium. tried to say he was and undefeated. I was like, except for the first time we ever played, and I beat you. But Chef Aaron, love you for watching. Uh, he okay, watches. He again. watches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Judge Jesse, Judge Alyssa, do either of you guys cook? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Not a bad cook. I wanted to be a Pretty chef when I was in middle school. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to come back on the show and actually cook? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, sorry, sorry, headphone users. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> everyone at home. No. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, that's. The time limit, the 20 minutes. They were thinking yeah. about they were thinking about their last dish in the first, and I was like, I wouldn't be able to hold that in <laughs> all in my head. I just make yeah. a variation of some sort of stir fry every, yeah. Yeah. every time. Yeah, decent, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, Jesse, I, about you? I just prefer hating on other people's creations. <laughs> yeah, it's always a safe bet. Yeah. No, right. <laughs> that's good. We'll bring you guys back exactly. to hate on more food, more right. more chefs' foods. Now that we're doing once a week. What's that tortilla thing over there? With the you, are you, you want to try this? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, did like, he did like a fish taco a fish with like taco. some bacon and beans and cranberry. Here's a question. Okay. Is it possible to find good Mexican no. food in Seattle? No. I want to hear from the chef. Uh, Chipotle. No, but that's not. No. no. There's. No, that's Tex-Mex. That's a different. No, thing. I'm kidding. Even uh, Tex-Mex isn't good. I don't know if I have really. That's not Tex-Mex. I don't eat out a lot, and when I do, I am not lying. It's like Chipotle three days a week. I don't want sure. it. I am not kidding. I don't, I don't want fish. I, I didn't realize there was fish in it. You don't want fish? You didn't know the fish taco had fish in it? <laughs> I wasn't listening. You're new at this. I'm going to plug something. Okay. Senor Moose Is in Ballard. Good? Great Mexican that's food. That's all right. I, yeah, I, I think it's good. It's, I think it's, it's okay. What it's kind not, of Mexican if you, food? If you were in the South, yeah. it's different, obviously. Anywhere yeah. you can get better. But I think Senor Moose is decent. Moose is all right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow, do we disagree? We, we dis now, I, Mike? I, I, do you I want know. to do this now? I know, I know. It's been so long. <laughs> yeah, it, are you sure? It's, <laughs> Senior Moose is more uh, of like a Central Mexican. Yeah. Oh, Central okay. Mexican. Not, not like, not SoCal Mexican. Not yes, SoCal. no, that's what, that's what I like. Yeah. That's my part. Yeah. That's my thing there is like, that's the level that I judge everything by, and I'm just disappointed every time. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That's, that's Senior Moose is oh, more gone. Central Mexican. Oh, what? Gone on Capitol Hill. It's okay. Is it? 
I think the price. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been there. I'm like, I can't. I haven't been there. I feel like it's um, for the price point what you're getting. It's pretty good. See, I like I like like the shitty 24-hour Mexican places from oh, Southern California. Like right. so, like Memos and Everett, and there's one in Capitol oh, Hill as well. Nice. Like like that's that's sort of the bar. There's a couple of places. Wait, what about the, well, uh, the chain El Reconcito? Ugh, I, is that I, gross? I don't like that one. I like I like their little pickled. Wait, bar El, El Reconcito is fantastic. What is it? It's fantastic. It's very good. You like it? I like elk. Ritter, I do too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You There's get a the pollo of loco. It's oh yeah. man, I miss yeah, the pollo loco. You can have as many pickled carrots and carrots. I love the want. pickled yeah. carrots, <laughs> dude. I'm not even kidding. The carrots and the jalapenos and the oh, yeah, so good. they're so good. Yeah. I love the places that Mike is talking about, where it's like the 24 hours, where oh, yeah. it's like it's one in the morning and you're drunk and you're right. like, I need something. To yeah, eat. like I need a bean and cheese right now. And the person cooking your food is drunk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like it better be. Bell. It's great. It's like your friend is driving you around. Stop here. Stop here. We right. need to go. We need right. to go. No, no, no. We need to um, stop. Who cares if there's flies buzzing around? It's it's no. Oh, it's still no, great. For it. they have the Honestly, little... the worse the bathroom, the better the food. <laughs> the bathroom, the better. That's true. Wow. It's true. The worse the bathroom, the better the food. That is scary true. I know, right? <laughs> so good. Oh, yeah. Chad, if you guys have any questions for the chefs or the judges, please, this is your time to ask. I mean, there's a lot There's a lot that happens in, in the last two hours, right? There's right. so many dishes, so little time to actually talk to one another and get, like, deep insight thoughts, uh, you know, because we have to continue to move so quickly. So... <laughs> we got... Uh, the, the question for, uh, for, for Judge Jesse coming, uh, coming from my ear is... Would you eat Chipotle before judging next time? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I don't live life with regrets typically. But <laughs> that was yeah. I don't know if I should have eaten it that that. You could have more of the nerd taco. <laughs> yeah. I wish I hadn't cleaned my first plate. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I like, didn't yeah. realize I was eating five. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. I was like. It's common common, common amateur mistakes Ugh, that happen here is somebody, move. somebody, you can tell the judges that have been here um, that were, that'll be like, oh yeah, I didn't eat today, because they know they're going to get five meals, mm. um, or you know, they take little bites, but they'll like have their things they're going to save for later, right? Uh, we have a lot of, we have a lot a of judges idea. that'll save their plates for later. I saved this one for you. You're great. Uh, I just, we'll set it, I'll set it in the, in the garbage. Here you yours. Uh, <laughs> I say try you, it. Everyone go. has to try it. What would you have <laughs> added to the nerd's tortilla to make it better? I want to hear from everyone. Actually, I want to hear. I want to hear what the chefs would add, and then judges what you yeah. would have added to make. So anyone, anyone, anyone can can speak to this. What would you have added to the nerds tortilla to make it taste better? I think what I would have done is fried the. Well, you didn't have access to anything. Right. <laughs> but if you could have fried it and then like dip, you know, like in the nerds, uh, almost oh yeah. like a, yeah, yeah. then it yeah. would have been like a sugary, like Churro crunchy. Hmm. That would have even if the nerds weren't breaking down at that point, I think that would have been a good dessert tortilla. Okay. Jesse, how do you how do you change how do you change it? Uh, man, I would um, I would uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't eat the nerds, man. I don't want those nerds. <laughs> I don't really even like nerds as is. I think it's a very basic candy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's a cream cheese was uh, a good suggestion. Yeah, cream if that cheese is good. Oh. I think you got cream cheese. Didn't I you? did. I yeah. did. Later, though, I thought. Later. Later. And my uh, my amazing um, half Mexican friend from Southern California is like, yeah, I voted for that. Yeah, of course you did. You knew how this worked. Uh, <laughs> candy. <laughs> Hang on. We got. We so if that's a basic candy, what's a complex candy? <laughs> like a like a like a layered Snickers. Like, like a nerd's like a, rope. Yeah. yeah. Snickers, all yeah. Snickers like are what layered. You might call it. Yeah, but like. Uh, like for like a Three Musketeers, that's a basic candy. It's not like <laughs> it's just nougat and junk. Who eats yeah. musket Three Musketeers anymore? Eighty-year-old women. Eighty-year-old yeah. women. Perfect. Yeah. Is that the one where you watch the commercials where like the girl opens up her purse and it's floating out of the purse because it's supposed to be like so light oh, yeah. and whatnot? Yeah, oh. I think so. Like it's supposed uh, to be so fat-free. Somebody asked why. <laughs> Sorry, we just see Steve crack a beer and walk past. <laughs> 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 Somebody asked why they they feel that Chef Zach's options were were like much worse than Chef David's options. Yeah. I don't know if that's it's, it's totally like, random. It's totally <laughs> random. I don't think that the, he had worse options. I think you I have been on the on other options. end of that. The last time I was here, the only heat source I had was the very bottom of this oven. You still won. Uh, it was brutal. I was like yeah. up and down. I felt like an eighty-year-old man at the end of the day. 
and, and and a couple of times, and then like the time before that, all I had was the toaster, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, so I've been on the other end of that, and it's you feel like a good knife in the back kind of. We uh, we, <laughs> we, we saw your dead. butt crack so much. <laughs> I, I we've, <laughs> we've we've stopped using that heat source. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> because all Glad all I can bad memories of, right. yeah. Pretty much my favorite part about that is. A week later, we got an email from you on show like day it. saying, hey, I think I yeah. left a bone in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we looked, and we pulled it out. <laughs> it's just black. It's just <laughs> the whole thing is just totally black. It was awful. Yeah, because I was like roasting the turkey leg. Yeah. It was a whole turkey leg. And I was like, I'm going to roast this for some flavor. And then I totally forgot about it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't want it to start smoking on the next show. And like, yeah, no. <laughs> can't figure out what's going on. God, that was so funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rent Fences, they had very few great options, like Pirate's Head. I don't know. That's, I, I mean, know. at That's the same time, like, I was back there looking at the voting options yeah. the entire time and waiting for things to come through before I came back and gave them to you. The thing was is that they had things that they could be voting for yeah. that were probably better choices, but they didn't know it was going to come later. So yeah. they were voting sort of like in the moment, like yeah. this seems good right now, yep. not necessarily like planning for what might Someone end was like, up. nerds seem good right now. Well, that was a <laughs> yeah. force ingredient. That was a force So that was, uh, yeah. that was this squad saying, we're going to force him to use the nerds. Uh, okay. uh, in fact, production is saying there was a time when he was, before he started doing the bacon mushrooms, before... Uh, one of the first things he could they could have had were eggs, and that may have changed what he was doing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and they didn't vote on it; they voted on something else. Mm. Yeah. So I mean, that's it's it's the way it works, and I think <laughs> production's like eggs and bacon. You can't go wrong with eggs and bacon, and I, and, and I agree. Um, will always be the same team names, or they're going to change every week. So these team names are going to stick around for a while, um, and then at some point, when we when when we get like you know a thousand squad members. I'm just throwing that our number out arbitrarily. Um, then you guys will get to change the names. You guys are going to control everything. You'll change the squad names. You'll change the color. Um, yeah, that's 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 where we're at right now with that. You, yeah. So if you want a different color, if you want uh, a different a different uh, icon, you don't want to be pirates anymore. I mean, yeah. parrots maybe or green monkeys. Parrots. Um, this isn't Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say. Yeah, for yeah. Parrots, for, <laughs> for parrots and the green monkeys are both in Legends of the Hidden Temple. Um, then you guys, you know, tell your friends, tell them to come and join us uh, in the Discord, join a squad, uh, so you guys can come all and vote and screw over your neighbors or your friends, because it's always fun. Uh, you know, it's... I love it, screwing my neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I've seen that movie. It's your, uh, it's, it's your show, guys. That's the thing. It's your show. You can vote Mike off? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're like, oh, oh, wow. Let's oh. get rid of him. And that Mike becomes trolley tag. I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize. That's got your I didn't realize that Not Kevin, daddy. I, 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 think, I think Amanda took over Kevin's chat there for a second. <laughs> the, um, Jesse, do you always, uh, do you always roast everybody? Is it just a habit now? Dude, I just it just felt like it called for it. No, 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 I get it. I was, I was, just, I was curious because I was like, oh, my God, he just immediately told Mike that he was Wait. a magician, oh, or a street magician. Yeah, a karate that. instructor. A, yeah, yeah. Karate. And a karate instructor. And I got a uh, guy who picks up women at the whole whole yeah. <laughs> So you just kind of have a suave demeanor to you, man. No, I get it. No. But like only suave <laughs> in the organic section. Right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> In the olive bar section. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> There's some nice looking for a nice olives. hot bar, you know? The olive bar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the worst. Man. I hate those are the stupidest things I've ever seen. Exactly. <laughs> hey, baby, do you like tapenade? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Ted's dating show. Swab says. Ted's uh, dating show. Swab says. That's what we're doing now. Perfect. That's what we're going to call it. Do as many hair flips as you can. <laughs> yeah. No, swab. that's Katie who's doing the dating show. <laughs> What? Does it really? I didn't know that. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, do you have your earpiece in? Nope. Oh, great. S squad says uh, flirt premieres after Squad says <laughs> serve on January 22nd. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. That'll be fun. Uh, live from Whole Foods? Is that oh, where you're going to be at? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm not the host of that. I'm pretty sure Katie's that's... the host of that one. Oh, God, really? <laughs> yeah, I think she is. That's going to be funny. That'll be good. Uh, so there you go, that's, and that's think, th think about all the chaos you had here in this cooking show, and now apply those votes to a dating show. Good <laughs> luck, everyone. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. I like it aligns. <laughs> Should I come back here with the with the little train whistle? Yeah. And, uh, every time. Every time. Every time I come out. Yeah. Oh man.
right. Uh, chat, guys, go ahead and remember, if you guys have any other questions uh, about the chefs or the judges, please let us know. Uh, uh, give you guys a couple, a couple minutes to, to react to that. Otherwise, we're going to say goodbye. While that's happening, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's give our social media shout-outs uh, of where folks can find one another. Hey, David Boyd, personal chef with <clears throat> Down Earth Cuisine, uh, www.downtoearthcuisine.com. Also at Instagram under the same tag. Lots of food pics there, um, nature pics as well, even though they're not really related, but that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> um, Alyssa Yeoman, and you can find me at, at Alyssa Yeo, A L Y S S A Y E O, on any social media. Yay. You can also listen to uh, my weekly cannabis news podcast called The Roll Up. It's a weekly podcast, comes out every Friday. Um, or my podcast with Jesse here called You so Don't Leave. Um, cool. Comes out every Monday. Hey, Jesse Warren at Jesse Warren Bruh on Instagram. Um, check out my uh, Tech Roast Show uh, on Facebook. It's called Socially Inept, t a Tech Roast Show. It's, it's a very fun show, so please come check that out. Uh, I'm on Twitter as at Talos Marvelous. I'm also on Instagram at Marvelous Chef. Uh, you can find me there. I post pictures of food, a bunch of stuff about Final Fantasy XIV. Nice. And, yeah, I play a lot of that. Nice. Um, so, yeah, find me there. See you guys online. Hey, I'm Ted. You can follow me on Twitter at Friends of Ted or on Twitch at Ted Friends. All right. And uh, are you coming over here to say goodbye? What's uh, I'm just going to wave at the end. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, and I am The Mike Robles. You can find me on Twitch and on Twitter at The Mike Robles. Uh, we're going to raid Katie, uh, Katie Downing right now, who's going to be the host of Squad Says Flirt, premiering here <laughs> on January 22nd. So stick around, uh, go say hi to her, raid her with us, and uh, you can check her out uh, and get a feel for Katie's sense of humor, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, mention the pickles when you get when you head over there. Yeah, yeah uh, definitely. Yeah, don't mention the pickles. Uh, see you guys. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Love you. We'll be back next week. <laughs> Yay!